Guys, good evening, good morning, wherever you are in the world. Welcome once again to One Coin Only. And I just realized I put the wrong uh, banner up. I've still got the banner from the other day. Let me just fix that for a second. In the meantime, I'm going to say hello to everybody. Hope you're having a great day. We've got a very, 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 very special fan made version of Resident Evil 2 for you today. I was actually debating whether I'd put this on today or not because I have done it fairly recently, but I think it's worth it. Um, this is Resident Evil 2 on GameCube, which has been remastered uh, on the PC and the Dolphin emulator uh, to come at you in full HD. This game looks absolutely incredible. It's beautiful. And uh, I just thought you guys might like to see today. So we might be doing both scenarios. We'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, thank you for coming in. We got Captain BS and Matthew uh, over on YouTube. On Facebook, we got Jeremy. We got Garrett there. We got Jimmy, Jamie. We got Randolph, we got Helen, how you doing? Thank you for coming in. We got Nick, we got Jeffrey, we got Susan, we got nobody cares. I, I care about you, nobody. And uh, we got Chris, we got Cody, Michael, Hector, and Tori. Thank you so much for coming in, guys. I appreciate you. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it started. You guys can let me know what you think, huh? But we're going to go to the main screen here now. And um, I'll go to the exit. And, uh, yeah, we, we might, we're going to start as Claire today. We're going to do a nice casual run. I don't want any challenge today. <clears throat> Aaron, thank you so much. Aaron just dropped a big 1,000. Lamont also with a 1,000. Oh, no, sorry, 100. Oh, my gosh. Thank you very much, guys. I'll get to you guys as soon as the cutscene is done. Aaron with a 1,000. Lamont with a 100. Thank you very much, fellas. How you going there, Steve? Good to see you. Terrible disaster. Had been Thank you guys, that's incredible already. A what, what do I think of The Last of Us 2? I enjoy it. I mean, it's it's a little bit slow for my liking. I don't, I'm not really keen to stream it again. Well, the remake, it's not actually on... This is not a legitimate game. This is a fan-made, like, remaster of the original. Are you going to notice as soon as we get in the game, the visuals are much different? And, uh... Oh gosh, I'm still trying to wake up guys. As I said, like, it's been getting really, really cold here in Australia lately. And I had to pretty much sleep the whole night um, with the heater on. And I was just absolutely toasty. If you sleep the whole night with a heater on, you, you will know how hard it is to drag your carcass out of bed the next morning. Oh, pretty good, thank you, Madison. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I hope you guys like this. This looks really mint. Especially when you're actually in the gameplay sections. I'm finally here. And, uh, you think I should have a mini fridge next to me while I play? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm actually thinking about that. But, um, I'm, I'm going to deck out my room really, really special. But not until I eventually move and have more space. Like, um, well, we live in a nice place now, but it's very small, and I've only got so much room in my room. Damn, Tori, that's crazy. <laughs> hey, going, Timmy? Good to see you. And we got Alan in here. Hello. Is yeah, I'm, I'm getting the new streaming PC in a couple months when the new videos are released. Hello. So probably, maybe I'm hoping, hoping. I'm hoping September at the absolute latest. I want it right now. I want to go out and get a new computer now, but you're better off waiting for the new future tech. Look, I'm sorry hey, Resi Raider. Hey, go on, Nick. We've got a very special remix today. Hey, go on. We've got a bunch of Nicks in here. You know what that means. Hey, go on, Mikey. Good to see you. Don't forget we're streaming on both Facebook and YouTube, guys. Timmy says that I get some sleep last night. Yeah, I did. I could always use more. I always, the problem is I always have to work before bed, Wait, so I get distracted. 
How you going there, Joey? Good to see you. We can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. And um, how do you have both at the same time? What do you mean, how do I do both at the same time? What are you talking about? Which one? Where do you work? I work from home, Madison. All the work I do is from home. I work behind the computer. Let's do this, Leroy Jenkins. It's alright, we will. What's going on? <laughs> I, arrived in town and the I want to do Resident Evil 1.5. I'm trying to work out how to get it working. I've been trying to do that, Nick. Hey, go on, Alex. Good to see you once again. Got a big thank you. Uh, let me just go back through here. Speaking of, um... Oh my gosh, you're going crazy. So we, we still got our uh, thank you screens going out to Aaron and Lamont. Always good to have you, Alex. Thank you for popping in. My day is doing pretty good, man. I'm, um... I mean, it's only started an hour ago. There's a gun inside. Better to it does mean the arena, Nick. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Nick just dropped a big 100 stars. How you going there, Chad? Dude, Madison says doing what? I'm an entrepreneur, Madison, so I go chasing my own money. I, I don't work for anyone. I work for myself. You okay? <clears throat> Still in one piece. Oh gosh! Just taking a deep breath. As I said, as I said, the the first the first little minute of the stream's chaos. I'm just taking trying to breathe. So Madison says, "What am I going to do with my old computer? I'm going to keep it as a spare and have another setup." Head to the station. I'll meet you there. So I'll be keeping it, Madison. All right. So you're going to see difference. Uh, okay, you'll see for yourself anyway. How you going, Jeremy? Good to see. We got Miss Violence in here as well. I think the Resident Evil 3 remake on this is even nicer, but we'll show you that another time. Shit, hang on. Give me one second here, guys. Just gonna pause. So we got big thank you screens going out to Aaron. Oh my gosh, I'm hang on, I'm trying to collect myself here. Okay. We got big thank you screens going out to Aaron. We got uh, a screen going out to Lamont, and we got a screen going out to Nick. Thank you very, very, very much, guys. Going out to you. <laughs> And one more, one more. You know what happens when more than one Nick enters the room? <laughs> thank you guys, I really, really appreciate you, seriously. Thank you for the star loves. All right, there we go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play catch up here, guys. I think I'm gonna be okay. All right, get out of here. You probably notice already how much cleaner this looks. I get out of there, and uh, I'm, I might need to adjust some brightness, which we can quickly do. Um, monitor tuning, and uh, adjust via game. We can do that here. Just bump that up to about a hundred. Oh, that's that's going to look a lot nicer. Great. Oh, here we are. So 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 Madison says you can make a living playing games. Yeah, but you need to have a business model. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. You absolutely, you, as long as you're willing to put in the milk, uh, as long as you're willing to put in the work, Madison, anyone can do it. How you going, Kid Jackson? Good to see you. Who are you? What are you doing here? I love the Resident Evil 3 remake. It's one of my favorite games at the moment, to tell you the honest truth, Derek. If you look past the size that it is, it's really, really fun. How you going, Xanthian? I hate to break it to you guys, but with as complicated as it is to make games now, you're not always going to get a 30 and a 40 hour epic. I think we all expect too much, to be honest. I've put over 50 hours into Resident Evil 3, speedrunning it, doing little bonus things. You know, games are what you make them. Maybe I'm biased, I don't know. Anyway, we're just going to go collect this ammo. <clears throat> That's the plan, Ricky, to work hard. Yeah, Resi 4 is good too. D Wayne's gonna be doing Resi 4 for us eventually. And, uh. 
Man, this looks really clean. This is nice. I'm trying to pick up the ammo. You think Resident Evil 1 and 3 will be our version of cross... I don't know what that is. Crossroads... What, what the fuck? Hang on. What's that? Our cross words to ward off dementia in our old age. It will be our version of cross... Okay. <laughs> no worries, Jordan. Okay. There you go. It, the last generation did crosswords. We play Resident Evil. Okay, I kind of get it. I kind of get it. So, Madison says you've been wanting a GameCube for over 15 years. I still want a GameCube. So, if anyone's got one lying around the house they want to sell me, you know, I might be able to take it off your hands. <clears throat> no, that's okay, Jordan. No, I get it. I was like... <laughs> when I'm trying to read these comments quickly... I sometimes don't compute them properly in my head, so it's just as much my fault. We're just going to go in here. Stay away from me, dickhead. Alright, we're going to go in this one. Don't I don't have a GameCube, no. Where it says you think you put 60 hours in a Final Fantasy VII Remake? So what, did you play it twice or something? T it takes about 30 hours to beat. And, uh... So Xanthian says you think you might have two GameCubes, so that's pretty sweet. First of all, I want to know what you're doing with two GameCubes. <laughs> yeah, you bring up a good point. I'm better off just getting one here. Yeah, the postage to Australia is really expensive. I, I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, the funny thing is, postage to Australia usually costs more than the item that you're sending by about times four. I'm not even kidding. You, you, Jake says you've got a GameCube. You want seven thousand dollars? You know what you can do, Jake? You can kiss my ass. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh, we got him. No worries. I'm, I'm, I mean, it, 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 I don't really feel like it's that big a deal using a lot of ammo. I mean, I feel like ammo is a lot more. Um, in Resident Evil 2, I feel like uh, what's the word? I feel like ammo is a lot easier to find. But I'm still not going to just brainlessly waste it, I guess. Well, let's go in here. And, uh... So, what, what does Anthony says? You end up losing and finding game consoles or collected ones for roommates and exes. Look at you, you little freaking scavenger. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, you think it? Yeah. For some reason, as I said, I've still got, like, over a dozen PlayStation 2s from my buying and selling days. So, I... They're probably going to be worth a bit eventually. But yeah, I've, I've got like at least a dozen PlayStation 2s. Probably about four or five Slims. And, and a bunch of Fats. Which sounds naughty. <laughs> oh, look, we finally made it out of here. Thank God. What else is happening, guys? Monique says you definitely happen to see... Oh, thank you, we're going to be on all night. As I said, I'm really excited to do this game for you today, guys, with the HD visuals. I don't know if you're noticing a big difference, but this game looks lovely on my end. I am streaming in 720p, so uh, obviously because that's all this computer can handle at the moment. So I don't know if um, the visuals in this are doing it justice, uh, but this game is looking. This game looks incredible. All right, we're just going to go in the station already. That's fine. I hope it's not too dark, guys. I've got it as bright as I can. <clears throat> and, uh... Oh, there you go, Michael. <laughs> so, Jeremy says you found out today that your laptop is 850 laptop these days, so you're spending 250 to fix it. Man, you do what you gotta do, huh? Um, alright, we're just gonna go... I don't know what I'm supposed to go. Get this ammo first, I guess. How old is my computer? My computer is about four years old. And it was already a just a tiny bit dated when I got it. So I do need to upgrade now. I'm running a GTX 980. Oh. And 16 gig of RAM. So, I mean, it still cuts the mustard, but it's out of date. So Emperor Thanos says this one can go up to 1080. Yeah. Well, on my computer, it's playing in 1080, but I'm streaming in 720. Hey, yeah. going, Jonathan? Good to see you. Thank you for hanging place. out. We Don't forget to smash those place. likes and shares for me if you can. Thank you guys, too. Chris, Jill, Barry. And, um, 
Every yeah, good to see you, Jonathan. A big, so I want to give a big shout out uh, to Emperor Thanos uh, for sending us this uh, fan made game today. Thank you very much. I was actually meaning to say a thank you to you in the description and I forgot to pop it in. I'm sorry for being so rude. But uh, yeah, Emperor Thanos gave us this one today. The Iconics are Australian, Hector. And the other stars' members discovered that Umbrella was behind and so madison says 720 still looks good on the phone that's the main thing lives, but no one believed them <clears throat> are you okay don't worry about hey go marcus good to see you Just thank you for coming in we got sir dash too the other rooms. here take this key card there we you go we're gonna take will smith's key card with this now go but just go <clears throat> Okay. And, uh, so Nick says you tech illiterate, someone was supposed to give you a quote on building a PC, but wound up saying it wasn't worth it. <sighs> yeah, how much did you want to spend if you don't mind me asking? It's, um, me, I mean, at the, at the end of the day, people still need to, you know, I, I do stick up for the tech a little bit. Because, uh, you know, people still need to make a living as well. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, yeah. How much did you want to spend? At least a thousand. I'm, su I'm surprised that he said it wasn't worth his time at a thousand dollars. I think most people only want to build big gaming computers these days because there's more money in it. But yeah, I hope you find your computer soon. JK Software says 720 still looks good. How you going, by the way, brother? Thank you for coming in. Alright, so we're going to go in here. Man, this room looks really nice, doesn't it? So we'll put away the knife. Oh, I don't need that either. Is there any Is there any ammo in the chest? I know in the first resi there was. No. You'd think with the amount of times you've played this, Rick, you would know by now. But that's okay. <laughs> we're just going to unlock this and see what's inside. It's like another first aid spray. So what's Aussie word of the day? I don't have a... It cut the mustard. That's the Aussie word of the day. <laughs> I don't have an Aussie word of the day. I'm too tired to think of one at the moment, to be quite honest. Everyone wants me to be their trained monkey and think of fucking phrases and words. Well, I don't fucking know. Just because I'm fucking Australian doesn't mean I come in here and come up with a new phrase or word every single day. Here I am just trying to play Resident Evil and everyone's all like, Hey Rick, hey Rick, what new Aussie words you got for me? Hey Rick, hey Rick, what phrase you got? Apart from a couple fucking words, if you haven't noticed, I speak fucking English. Oh my goodness. There we go. There's a Rick rant. I've been on, I've been on for 10 minutes and you've already got one. You're welcome. <laughs> No, we're not doing it. We're not doing unlimited ammo today. Oh gosh! There you go. The the rant the rants are coming already. And it, <laughs> it's been twisted off. Well, that's no good. Oh, so we can't go in there yet, can we? All right. So Quincy says you want to learn Aussie phrases too. Yeah, I'm going a bit crazy. Hey. Aaron, thank you so much. Aaron with 100 stars. Aaron says, is there 100 stars for a Rick rant? And then Payron's like, calm down. Yeah. Wow, that looks really nice. Well, let's get away from that liquor, huh? Baby, let me lick you up and down until you say... St okay, I'm not going to... Let me play with your body, babe. You remember that song? I want to get free. Okay, I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> Aaron, thank you. Aaron with a hundred, this is for you. Oh, you legend. Thank you for all the star love, sir. We've got big 100 from Aaron going going towards the freaking 50 million you've sent already. So honestly, oh gosh. <clears throat> Oh, what are we going to do in here? Is there anything? We, we need to get the red gem in here later, but I don't think there's anything else. I don't know if there's any ammo on the desk. I'm just having a quick look. No, I guess we can get out of here. Oh, so Monday Night Raw's not too bad this week, Jeremy. Okay, you know what? I might actually have to check that out. 
I, I haven't watched a full episode of Raw or SmackDown for about a month. I'm just like, I'm not really feeling it right now, hey. And, uh... You actually saw that video before I had it as a screen gem? Oh, nice! You know, they're pretty sexy, aren't they? And, uh... There we go, Chris just dropped a... Ah, uh, fuck it, he get off me, ass hat. Oh my gosh, Jill, what the... Not Jill, Claire, I mean... Oh, yeah, no worries, just reload in the middle of a... Oh my gosh, dude, this is sucking so bad. It's just, oh my gosh. Alright, give me a sec here, guys. Alright, Chris just dropped a very, very generous, um... 220 stars. Thank you so much, Chris. I'm going to be right with you. Madison says, do I own or rent my place? Uh, I rent my place. Would I like to own one day? Sure, but while I rent, I've got freedom. Because I kind of like it. There we go. Alright, so what are we going to do? We're going to do this one for Chris. Chris, um... This one. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris. Really appreciate the star love, my man. Thank you for everyone else who sent stars today already. I'm going to, um... <clears throat> How you going, Thomas? I'm doing okay, man. We're just... This all looks... Yeah, man, you can just tell the little subtle differences in this, can't you? This game's looking mint. I feel, I feel like they've made this a little bit darker, too. Like, with the lighting and everything. All right. pushes down all right just push this across over them yeah and Monique with the metaphoric stars thank you Monique and how you going Joanne it's lovely to see you thank you for hanging out well as I said Joanne we've just got this brand new uh well it's not brand new but it's been out for a while but I finally got access to it thanks to Emperor Thanos uh, this is a HD remaster of uh, Resi 2 and uh, it's going to be cool to finally record a whole uh, playthrough of this, actually. I, I can't imagine there's heaps of them. But we're going to go over there. We're going to put this here. <sighs> no dramas. How you going today, Russell? Good to see you. Thank you for hanging out. And Matthew says he got his new dentures today. A big congratulations to you, man. How you feeling? And uh, all right, there we go. We're going to go in here. Yeah, man. Good on you. I hope they weren't too expensive. I know that dental. I know that dental stuff's not cheap. <clears throat> All right, let's go in here. Michael says the iconics aren't too bad as a tag team. Uh, tag team women's wrestling still up on the swing of things. Um, I would like the women's tag team division to matter more, but to be honest, let's let's just call a spade a spade. The, the tag teams don't really mean shit, period, in WWE, so I'm just happy that they get any TV time. Russ, I'm not doing too bad, man. I'm just feeling, um... As I said, I, 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 did, I haven't been awake for too long, and I was, like, snuggled in bed with the heater this morning, and so I'm, I'm still in wake-up mode. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I kind of watched D-Wayne stream for an hour, had some breakfast, and... Now, now here we are, pretty much. Can we, can we get something out of there? It must only be in Resi 3 that you get a first aid uh, spray out of there. That's all right. Let's just leave. Yeah, they feel great and you can smile again. Yeah, good on you, man. It'll help you with the confidence. Never been a better time to buy a place with the interest rate so low, uh, David says. Yeah, but I don't have any fascination owning any property yet. As I said, I kind of want my freedom to, to move around without a mortgage for as long as I can. I, my goal one day is to buy a house outright. I know that sounds ambitious and nearly impossible, and it could be. But, um, you know, I'm just setting really, really big goals. <clears throat> you never know. You never know what life has. Oh, let's go in here. So, nobody cares as I've ever met, met any famous people. I've met a ton of famous people from uh, back in my days of being a nightclub DJ. Did I get the round stone? Yeah, see, I got it. 
I got, got that unicorn head if that's what you mean. Fuck it. Yeah, we're all good. Hey, you going, Anga? Good to see you. As I said, I'm going to try and keep the backtracking in this to a minimum. That's the one thing I freaking hate about this is the backtracking, but we should be okay. Yeah, The Undertaker retires. I did watch um, part five of the last ride last night, and, you know, I've, I've actually changed my opinion after seeing the last ride. I do think Undertaker's done for real this time, and I think he's going to go in the Hall of Fame next year. I, I think that's what's happening. How you going there, Craig? Guys, we got Cyclops Gaming in the house. How you doing there, Craig? Thank you for hanging out with us. We're just playing some uh, HD Resi 2 today, just a little bit of Hacky Hacky McHackerton. And uh, a big thank you for coming in, Craig. How you doing, man? You alright? Yeah, but that's okay, David, because mo most of my money is not in saving accounts anyway. It's in portfolios. Not, not that I have that much, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Thank you for your concern, though, brother. <clears throat> but yes, I, I, know, I know some people, um, I'll get, I don't want to get into that hoity-toity stuff. <clears throat> How you going, Joanne? You're not too late, man. We've only been on for about 15 minutes. Craig says you're doing good. Just check it on me, Craig. Thank you very much, dude. I'm doing okay. I'm um just pushing every day, man. Just trying to make things happen. You know how it is. What about yourself? You doing all right? How's your health? And we got Vinny in here. Good to see you, Vinny. Thank you for hanging out. All right, we're gonna grab this sunbish key. Now I'm really excited uh um for t this morning stream, the 9 a.m. stream, guys. Uh, we're going to be doing some Sega Genesis stuff, but one of the games we're finally going to be doing uh, is Eternal Champions. So we're going to do some... Uh... Oh wait, we already unlocked that. Okay, we actually have to go back the way we came now that we have the spade key. And that really fucking pusses me off the item placement here. Because we have to go back the way we came. That's just bullshit. Did you hear Mixer is shutting down July 22nd and did a deal with Facebook Gaming? Really? So what, we're going to get Ninja, are we? Wow, it, it's, Mixer's really shutting down. Th you know what, thank God I didn't make a Nick Mixer account. I went I went, I went, went to D-Wayne uh, and Commodore and uh, I said, Guys, what do you think about making a Mixer account? And they were like, yeah, nah, Rick, don't do it. And I just want to thank... Uh, uh, Commodore and D-Wayne for being the brains in this relationship. <laughs> but yeah, no, I asked Commodore and D-Wayne what they, they thought, and they were like, yeah, nah. Yeah, Mixer is dead, hey? I didn't realize Mixer was doing that bad. That's a shame, but you know, there's already a few giants out there, isn't there? Cruz, thank you! Cruz with a big 100 stars. And, uh, and so what are we going to do to... Here we go. <clears throat> Leroy Jenkins! Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins! Oh my god, he just ran in. Thank you very, very, very much, Cruz. Really appreciate you. How you doing today? They announced it. So, well, so what does that mean? They're just basically, Facebook's just acquiring everything? Or are they going to change the layout? Or, or what's happening? Like, is, fa is Facebook gaming going to be any different? Or are we just basically getting all their people? Uh, did they just get bought out? Hmm. That, that statement indicates that Commodore has the ability to think. Yeah, I, we don't give our boy Commodore enough credit, I think. <laughs> Com -com -com Commodore knows what's up. We need to find the lighter. I can't remember where it is. Yeah, I've got a hack of Eternal Champions, Vincent, that nerfs the difficulty a little bit. So we're not going to have any trouble with uh, Eternal Champions today. We're going to be just fine, actually. It's still a challenge, but not as much as before. And, uh... Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, thank you, crew. Crew, Krista just dropped a big 100 star. Thank you, Krista. I really appreciate you. This is going out to you.
There you go. You know what, my friend? Stars make me happy. That's the facts of life right there. Thank you so much, Krista. I really appreciate it. That's pretty random, isn't it? Got to thank Nick for that thank you screen. I was kind of joking when I said we should have a facts of life thank you screen, but Nick made me one. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> thank you so much for the 100 stars. Hey, go on, Cody. The Hello Darkness, my old friend, friend screen's hilarious, isn't it? Man, he's got such a great sense of humor. Not today, bro, not today. Let's just leave. Guess we're gonna get rid of that key. And, uh, thank you, Krista. So you'll have to catch it later and get our work, freaking stoked for it. Oh, what are you talking about? Eternal Champions or this stream, Vinny? Sherry Bobbins, yes. <laughs> Shirley Temple. Have you seen a little girl? Well, I give her a bunch of nicknames. None of them are very yeah, complimentary. Hey. Who is she? I don't know. But it's too dangerous. So, so Mike thinks know. Undertaker's yeah, last great I'll match at WrestleMania to you was against CM Punk. Punk. You think so? Of course. I'm trying to think course, back. No, I mean he had a great match with AJ Styles, even though it was a cinematic. That way we can keep in touch if something comes up. The last match he had was pretty solid. But that wasn't on the. That was all filmed. So of course I could make him look good. So Marco says mixtape, mixtape, mixtape. Who wants another Ricky D mixtape? Oh, there you go, Marco singing real McCoy. Another night, another dream, but always. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a that that's a, a freaking flashback to the past. Holy shit, this is going out to you, Marco. <laughs> Wow, someone in here actually remembers the real McCoy, hey? Jeez, that's going back a bit. Thank you very much for the 100 stars. We need a real McCoy thank you screen. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, let's go in here. <clears throat> yeah, I think Undertaker knows that he hasn't delivered in a long, long time. And, you know, it's not that... We we gotta be kind to him. He's just old man. It's just like we gotta cut the poor guy some slack. He's got nothing left to prove. The only thing he's trying to prove anything to is himself. And we've got the privilege of still we, we still had the privilege of seeing him perform, and we probably took it for granted a little bit. I was gonna go in here and get this piece. <clears throat> that that song is totally stuck in your head now. Do I have a star screen for when I was a DJ? Yeah, I can find something for you eventually when I, when I can be bothered. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to go in here. So we're just going to move these bookshelves. Oh, my goodness. To the right. I think we just need to right, move these ones to the right, to the right. You know why we have to move these to the right, to the right? Because Beyonce already moved them to the left, to the left. It's like, Beyonce, stop playing around with my freaking bookshelves. Yes, I know you're an interior decorator, but I don't want them to the left, to the left. There we go. That's all right. Well, we, we, we just fixed up uh, Beyonce's error there. That's okay. We need to get out. Mama, yeah, see, that's my favorite era too. And see, I, was, I wish I was 10 years older and then I'd be DJing all that stuff, Marco. But, um, yeah, you know all the music I like now. Euro House is the best, man. Seriously. What are we going to do for Marco this time? Marco, thank you for the 100 stars. It's for you. Hey, look at this one. There's a little guy little there. toast to Marco. What else we got? Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. <laughs> thank you so much, my friend. There you go. See, I, I love it when I can bond with people over the music I actually like. Oh. Did I see that we're getting a Crash Bandicoot 4? Aren't th uh, so, so we're getting a Crash Bandicoot 4. I thought, oh damn, I went the wrong way. Guys, I'm not concentrating here. Bear with me. I thought they're up to Crash Bandicoot 150 now. Yes, they, 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 he did make AJ Styles look pretty good. Guys, just bear with me. I'm reading some comments. I can't read every single individual comment out. Um... Only the little ones. I don't mean to be rude or anything. I'm just trying to do my best to keep up with everything going on. We are live on both Facebook and YouTube. Um, so you can watch on the platform of your choosing. 
Uh, the YouTube chat is a little bit quieter, so you'll probably be able to get more in. Oh, I don't know, David. Some people expect me to. <laughs> and, uh... Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna go in here. Alright, so I'm just gonna run around behind this sunbish. This is a lot darker than the original. It's definitely, um... How, how's the picture quality, guys? Is it alright? Can you make it all out and everything? No, I mean, we're... Uh, Oh, there you go. The light is over here. That must be it on the couch. Hey, how you going, Joshy? Good to see you. We got quiet Josh in the house. Always good to have you, man. It's been a little minute since you've said hello, actually. But I, I know you're always watching in the background, my friend. <laughs> hey, how you doing today, buddy? Everything all right? I'm, uh, okay. Uh, we, can, we can go back for that afterwards. Uh, all right, we're just gonna go in this way. So, so it looks bright to you. Like you mean too bright? You, do you want me to turn it darker, Joanne? Or do you mean you did looks okay? Hey, look at Rick getting all paranoid and stuff. I will put that gem away. Okay. Um. Oh, get off me! Oh, we can't do anything in here yet, anyway. Well, that's right. We we gotta put the fire out. Oh, look at this! Claire's now working for the freaking fire department, mate. Oh, stop it, Josh. That's too much flattery. You're gonna start giving me a big head. Josh says he always gets lost in the awesomeness of my streams. Nah, man. I'm just an Australian that talks a lot of shit and occasionally gets a couple likes and shares. It's the best job in the world. <laughs> I'm gonna pick this up. Oh, you th okay, cool. Picture quality is not as good as your next mixtape. I would, I would really like to make a mixtape again. Like, seriously. So you can't name drop but a celebrity you're friends with is interested in hearing your music, Jeremy? Oh, good on you, man. Uh, well, there you go. I hope uh, he can help you out. And I don't like to name drop either. I've never been that guy. The only person I name drop is D-Wayne. Because D-Wayne's now famous on Facebook. So I name drop D-Wayne. Uh, but that's it. <laughs> hey, go on there, player 40. We got to... Dude, it's good to see you, Joshy. Thank you for coming in. You are the ducks nuts, Ricky. There you go. There's the Aussie phrase of the day. Joshy, there you go. We got the Aussie phrase of the day. Joshy just called me the ducks nuts. That means you're pretty freaking awesome. Sunbish Army, you are the freaking ducks nuts, mate. There you go, the duck's nuts. Oh my goodness, what a phrase that is. Nobody cares, as my mum says that you owe her 14 years of child support. Oh gosh, I was... No, I'm not going to crack any yo mama jokes. Don't tempt me. <laughs> that wouldn't be very nice. Yeah. Oh boy. But yeah, I met a lot of musicians back from when I was a DJ. They'd always come in and make appearances at our clubs with their little, uh, women. <laughs> they, they, you'd have, like, Bow Wow and Sean Paul and all that come in with, like, about eight or ten different girls. And, uh, du yeah, Duck Nuts, eh? And then Prathunnel says that you're the guy that D-Wayne drops. How about the phrase, she's doing a spready? That's rude, bud. That's rude. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go up here. Alright, so we got this. Poor, poor Claire ain't feeling too healthy right now. I've got to be a bit more careful. No! I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to... No, I'm not going to be disrespectful like that. Sorry, dude. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable doing that. Alright, so let's use this bad boy. Not better than these nuts, you don't think? And Marco says you name drop one coin and combo when your wife asks why we... Oh. Oh, Marco! 
As I said, like, as much as I'd love to bathe in your stars all day long, trust me, I love to swim naked in the stars that everyone sends me. It's like, ah, all these stars, oh, I'm covered in all your stars. Swimmy, 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 swimmy. I don't want to do it at the expense of your food or your rent bill or anything. What, do you think I'm freaking Pokimane? Oh, gosh. I just, I'm just glad that you guys, I'm just glad that you guys come in and watch and enjoy the content. I'm not trying to steal your money like, uh, well, anyway, I'm just... I'm going too far now. This is going to turn into slander, isn't it? I think you guys have all seen the Pokemane videos lately. I'm only messing. Marco, thank you so much for the 100 stars. What are we going to give to Marco? We're going to find something down here. This one. Hey, we just got raided by Xbit. Good to see you. How you going, PJ? Big shout out to the whole team at Xbit. Now, I only just woke up and got started, so who was streaming on Xbit uh, just then? So I can say a uh, big hello. Now, guys, I'm a big supporter of Xbit. Another awesome page. If you want a, another great page for classic and current gaming, definitely check them. Uh, excuse me. Definitely check them out, guys. Definitely. Oh, Viper was on. Good to see you, Viper. Thank you for the raid, sir. Big shout out to Xbit. We are doing the HD remaster of Resi um, 2 today. Emperor Thanos threw this one down to me. Anyone getting the new Pokemon Snap? When I'm going to be getting Pokemon Snap. I am very, very keen. Any idea when that's coming out? Have, have we got a release date in Pokemon Snap yet? She, she, she ain't feeling too well. We just need to get this key. Will you take the precinct key? Alright, now we need to go back downstairs one last time. Oh my gosh, Peyron, that's terrible, but funny. <laughs> Peyron says, your mama's so fat when you cut a leg open, gravy come out. <laughs> that is freaking savage, bro. I hope you've never actually used that. I like Animal Crossing. I can't really stream Animal Crossing. Wouldn't be that popular, but... I'm surprised I haven't got the new Animal Crossing yet, because I'd love to play that in my own time. Maybe one day. I don't get a lot of own time, that's a problem. Not having a sook about it, you know, I keep myself occupied in other ways, but... Yeah, I don't get to play a lot of video games in my own time. Most of the games I play in my own time are things that I practice for a stream. Oh, goodness. Now, you guys are hilarious. Didn't they used to do the Yo Mama jokes on... Oh my gosh. Didn't they used to do the Yo Mama jokes on MTV back in the day? Oh my gosh, dude. No release date in Pokemon Snap yet. Fair enough. Why did she not move? Come on, Rick. What are you doing? Oh, I'll just have to shoot him. I was trying to save ammo. Jeez, that's a, that's a bit of harsh, Jeff. <laughs> okay, let's let's uh let's let's not crack any mum jokes today, huh? We we might stay away from the mum jokes. So yeah, by the way, Johnny, I'm doing pretty good, thank you, man. As I said, I'm st I'm just feeling a little bit uh as I said, like I, I I was like so snuggled up in bed this morning with the heater, and even though I had a full night's sleep, I could have had double. Like I was like hibernating like a bear this morning. Alright, so, alright, we're just gonna go in here and get this herb. As I said, trying to backtrack as little as possible, guys. We're gonna, um... Oh, we don't need that yet. So we're gonna combine these. Will you mix the herb? Don't mind if I do. Alright, we got that. Oh, goodness. The game that makes people blow up to smithereens. Which game is that? That game, which game's making people blow up? Which, which, which game are you talking about? By the way, I just want to thank Viper and Xbit Gaming one more time uh, for the raid. Really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you for uh, thinking about one coin today. And, uh... Alright, we're going to go in here and just get this freaking gem. This, is, this will be the last time that we have to come this way, so I'm kind of relieved about that. Oh, boy. I haven't decided whether I'm going to do scenario A and B in this today or, or not yet. I'll see how I'm feeling after this. 
But I'll definitely, regardless, I'll definitely be on for a late night. Alright, so we're going to use that. Viper is awesome as hell. Man, we love Viper here at OneCoin. It was good to actually, like, hang around in his stream and catch up for the first time in ages the other day. We haven't had a proper chat in a while. Alex, thank you. Alex dropping the big 100 stars. Thank you so much, Alex, for your kindness, man. What are we going to give to Alex? Alex, uh, we're going to give you this one. Okay, and I'd really appreciate it if WWE doesn't flag me for that screen because it's under 8 seconds. So if, if WWE flagged me for that, I'd be really pissed off. <laughs> So, um, nobody cares, says, do you co-host any other stream or just one coin only? Uh, I just do one coin only, my friend. That's not to say that you'll never see me maybe as a surprise guest somewhere in the future, not that I have anything planned. But, um, you know, I just do one coin only, my friend. This is, this is my baby, this is what I do. And this is like already a full-time commitment, you know? So there you go. Brandon also dropping a big 100 stars. Thank you so much, Brandon. What are we going to give to Brandon this time? I think we need to sing a song. Okay, we're going to sing a song here. <coughs> My baby takes the morning train. Thank you, Brandon, as well, for the 100 stars, man. It's sing a long time with one coin, baby. I think, I think we need to go in here. Oh, what are you talking about, Oren, Last of Us 2? Because someone told me there was one, so I don't know what they're talking about. I'm kind of relieved then. I'm not going to stream it anyway, but... This room is freaking chockers, bro. There you go, that's an Aussie word, chockers. Means the room's fucking full, mate. Chockers, bro. Alright, she she ain't feeling... Oh, she's in danger. Not anymore. She's going to do the drug. She's all good now. And you see this, this... I love how this display's all different. It looks really nice. I think that must be all of them. So what are we going to get over here? We need to... Will you use the lockpick? There you go. So, Payron says it's the last of a series good. Yeah, I like that more to enjoy in my own time. It's a bit slow to stream. A lot of people are going to disagree because there's a lot of people streaming Last of Us. But I was trying to stream the first episode um, last week. And it was kind of putting me to sleep a bit, to be honest. I was like, ugh. Like, the story is great, but the pacing is just, ugh. Anyway, that's just my opinion. What do I know? I'm just a sumbish. Uh, just give me the light, just give me the light. Yeah. <laughs> However the rule words go. Yeah, no, that's, um, yeah, I remember that song. That was a cool song back in the day. Not from a lyrical standpoint. I just, I just like the production behind Sean Paul's music. It's always pretty groovy. Oh, gosh. Come on, just die. Oh, we got him. So, Griffin says, what's my drink of choice in Australia? If you're asking for, like, a beer, I like to drink the Stonewood Pacific Ale. That's, like, my favourite beer type drink in Aussie. If you come over here, you need to get Byron Bay Stonewood Pacific Ale. Oh, thank you, Lee. I appreciate that. Lee says, how are you going, Rick? Haven't been in the last few days due to... No, that's totally okay, man. I get it. Thank you for hanging out with us, man. I appreciate it. We're just, um... I went the wrong way. I knew I was going to go back in there. I'm doing pretty good, thank you, Lee. We're just playing this really nice looking uh, HD remaster of Resident Evil 2. So I'm like, man, this game does look the business. I've also got um, a physical copy of Resident Evil 2 for PS1 coming. And you guys might be like, big deal. But I've got like the pound HDMI cable that I really want to try. Uh, not the pound, the Hyperkin. HDMI cable, I really want to try with it eventually. Which way should we go first? Where do I get the hard key from again? Ah, hang on. No, we're gonna go upstairs first. 
Alright, it's just about having a plan of attack. We're gonna go upstairs first, because we're gonna talk to that corrupt police chief now. Do I like to drink cold water with ice? Sure, Jeremy. Gosh, okay, here's a Rick rant. Oh my gosh, alright, time to clear the throat. Do you guys realize how sick I am and tired I am of everyone being like, uh, uh, Hey Rick, hey Rick, it's Foster's Australian for beer. Do you think maybe in the three years that I've been in here at one point, I don't know man, I've been in here since June 2017 and everyone comes in and they're like, uh, 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 Is Foster's really Australian for beer? Well, I don't fucking know, you don't think I've answered that question already at least once over the last three years? And everyone still wants to fucking put that stereotype on me every day. And everyone thinks that Paul Hogan is my uncle and a national treasure and don't realize it's freaking Wolverine, Hugh Jackman. You guys have got no idea. Stop watching Viking TV, get a plane ticket, travel around the world and experience a glorious nation of Australia for yourself. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh boy. Thank you once again, bro. We just got a big uh, 100 stars from Brian. Thank you once again, sir. Let me just... <laughs> oh, boy. I just cracked. I just... <laughs> That's not... So not Brian. Sorry, Brandon. Forgive me, Brandon. I'm so sorry. This is going out to you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, Brandon. Brandon with another 100 stars. I totally just snapped. I totally just snapped, didn't I? <laughs> And then Chris says, okay, so no Fosters then. Yes, no Fosters. <laughs> oh, goodness, you think I need to have a tin tent? Russell dropping the big 100 stars too. Russell, thank you so much for the support. This is for you. Oh, wait, I don't have to. I've got to get you a South Park screen. Sorry, this one. Thank you so much, Russell. Yeah, hashtag Hugh Jackman. Yeah, so JK Software brings up a point. He's like, yeah, Rick, it's kind of hard to come to Australia now. Yeah, well, later. I highly recommend the glorious nation of Australia in the future. It's all right. We won't, we won't be locked in like cattle forever, guys. We'll, we'll be able to see the world again. Don't worry about that. I need to get this gem. All right, we can do everything we need to in here now. Oh, so Carlos says you got to play God of War in 3. Oh, good for you, man. I'm glad you got to have a try. Um, it, it's got a Dancehall remix. I, I thought Dancehall was kind of like... Um, uh, I, could, I could be getting my genres confused now. And that's embarrassing because I'm a DJ. But I kind of thought the more dance hall sort of stuff was like um, certain types, like you know, you know how Sean Paul does like reggaeton, but he's uh, it's, it's not quite reggae. How can I explain it? It's not quite reggaeton, but I always thought dance hall was kind of like in the same family, if that makes sense. And Brian Rob Michael says, "Hey Ricky, get it done. I'm trying to, mate. I'm trying." I don't actually, Jeremy, I'm sorry, so we just gotta put these gems in. <clears throat> and then Christopher, thank you, says some Aussie love again. No, you're right, Chris, I'm only playing around, man. It's all in good fun. P people come in to see me get angry. P people don't come in to see me play video games. They're like, Rick, shut up and get angry already. <laughs> don't antagonize the Aussie sign. Yes, yeah, you'd be best not to. Thank you so, so much for the 500 stars, Chris. I really appreciate that. Let me uh, sort this out. So what are we going to give to Chris? Let me have a look here. Um, we're going to give you this one. We're going to give you two, Chris. Hey, Michael, it's my absolute pleasure. As I said, I appreciate you all for being in here. I'm just trying to... Just trying to make people smile. Like, I'm not actually really angry. I'm not that sensitive about Foster's. Well, okay, that's a lie. I do kind of get pissed off when people come in and mention Foster's beer all the time. But I get over it a lot quicker. <laughs> I just... Oh my gosh. It's like, man. Everyone's like, every day, I at least have someone people go, Did you throw any boomerangs today? 
Oh, did you drink any Foster's beer today? Oh, did you hop on a kangaroo ride to work today? Oh, you better be careful and not go out the front. A dingo might eat your baby. I get this every single day, mate. It's like, it just gets a little bit old. Gets a little bit old. Come up with something more creative. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were another one of those zombies. Oh, yeah, no, I feel you, Nick. Yeah, well done, Captain Obvious. <laughs> That's me. And just who are you? No, don't. Oh, your one coin shirt arrived today. Russell, I hope it didn't take too long. Obviously, there's a few, um... Delays with like you know my Sharona and everything. Thank you so much for grabbing a shirt, brother. Really appreciate it. You'll have to show me a pic. And then Chris says your wife just said, "Are you gonna throw a shrimp on?" Ah, fuck it, really, really. <laughs> oh, here we go. Brandon says if we're doing Aussie stereotypes, lose any wars to emus lately. Gosh, man, I did. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Fucking... Oh, that just starts to... It's really starting to make my blood boil at the moment, actually. <laughs> Nick says, you're glad you like the darkness screen. Have a great stream. Need to spend some time with the family. S Club party screen. No worries, Nick. Nick, thank you for the 178 stars before you go. And, uh, I'm just... Yeah, give me one second here. This is for you. Thank you very, very much, Nick. I really appreciate that, man. Have a good night. And, uh, what'd you say? That was all in... F oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's just things that I cop every day. Yeah, Jeremy says, did you get killed by a drop bear today? Oh, my goodness. And Brandon says, just don't listen to these guys. Thank you, Brandon. I'm just aware. I'm just aware that you guys think you're better than me. <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't poke fun at me every day. See, look at that. Rick's having a pity party now. Everyone, everyone, pull out the violins. Oh, good on you, Jeremy. Let me know how that all goes. Hey, look at Sherry Bobbins. Wait, let me go. Easy. How you going, Quincy? Yeah. yeah. Come to Oz and we'll play with one of our crocs. She'll be right. That's what we call it, is it? <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you, Brandon. Brandon with a bunch of stars today already. I really appreciate you, so I'll be right with you, man. Yeah, it's like, you know, I watch shows like Steve Wilkos and, you know, Jerry Springer and Maury Povich and I don't assume every one of my American brothers and sisters are on that show, do I? It's like, it's like, it's like you take... <laughs> it's, it's like you take every freaking stereotype you could possibly find and slap it on my face like a wet fish every single day. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of How you going, by the way, Patty Brooks? Good to see you, man. Me. Thank you, Brandon. Brandon with a hundred stars. No, that's all right. It's here. Sherry, wait. We got we got Brandon with a hundred stars, and we got the other Brandon with a hundred stars. You know what I mean? We're gonna have to give you guys a Thunderdome now. You know the rules. You know what happens when two people send stars with the same name. Get off my train, shitbird! Shitbird! <laughs> Thank you, fellas. No, Brandon, you're all good. Kiefer says, "Lucky us Aussies can take it." I've been taking it for three years, Kiefer. Nick dropping the big 100 stars too. Nick, thank you so much, sir. Good to see you today, Nick. How you doing? You all good? What have you been up to today, Nick? Anything special? There you go, Gay. See, I don't do the cowboy hat. Yeah. I guess, yeah. I don't assume everyone in Texas is a cowboy. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. The Maury Povich comes to me and he goes, the lie detector determined that was a lie. I actually do think everyone in Texas is a cowboy. 
So I, I guess I'm guess I'm no I'm guess I'm no better than you guys. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, what's it? Oh, there's like a little diary over here. All right, we can go to the next part of the police station. I better get a move on here. Jeremy says, Ricky, you're in Brisbane, right? I am in Brisbane. I do live in Brisbane. I'm about um, 15 minutes outside of town. Thank you, Andy. Andy says he loves Resi 2. This is not the original Resi 2. This is the Resident Evil 2 uh, HD remaster today, guys. And uh, you, you, um, there's a lot of graphical differences in this that make it look a lot nicer. Different lighting, shadows, that kind of stuff. Chris, I'm doing very well. Guys, we got MVP Gaming in here, guys. And a big shout-out to the most valuable players. Thank you for hanging out, sir. I am doing A-OK, -okay, my friend. I can't complain. And if I did, no one would fucking listen anyway, would they? No, Chris, I'm only cracking jokes, dude. I know you guys don't really think you're better than me. I'm only being... I'm just being a dickhead. I don't actually think that, Chris. I promise. And so John says an American, I've never been on Maury Povich. Nah, you could, but you know, I, I'm not going to lie and say that the the stereotypes get like tiresome. And as I said, guys, it's only because, um, you know, I hear the same shit every day. Like, if you want to give, if you want to like throw a stereotype at me, no worries, but be creative. Come up with something I've not heard of in a while, you know, like, ah, oh, kangaroos and boomerangs. Like, that's about as original as vanilla ice cream. You know? <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow, Joanne. You take care of yourself. Thank you for coming in. Uh, can we go in there yet? I don't think we're ready to go in there yet. Hang on. Oh, well, do we have to open the safe? Yeah, we have to open the safe. How about funnel web spiders? F funnel web spiders are a problem, but only in Sydney. Give me one second here, guys. So Steve says, Rick, do you own a Subaru Outback? No, I don't even... <laughs> Fucking hell, Steve. <laughs> Thank you so much, Steve. Steve with... Steve, Steve, Steve with a hundred stars and the smart-ass crack. All good, bro. All good. Oh, my goodness. No, I don't own a Subaru Outback. <laughs> Oh, what number is it again? It might be 3356. Maybe I haven't got it right. What is it again? How you going there, Soapbox? Oh, no, what number is it again? I keep forgetting this every time I do it. Maybe it's 2236. There we go. I knew it was one of them. Alright, we got it. Alright, sweet. We're out of here. Callan says, you mean there's more to Australia than Sydney? Sydney is very, very... I don't mean to insult my Sydney siders, because this is just subjective. I know a lot of people love li living in Sydney. I personally think Sydney's overrated. Sydney's got an amazing zoo. It's got some, like, monuments and some landmarks and everything. But after spending two, two days in Sydney, you're done. If you want to spend some time in Australia, either go to the Gold Coast, if you're after the more luxurious side of things, or if you're an outdoorsy person, you've got to go to North Queensland. But uh, Sydney, you don't really need to spend more than two days in Sydney. And I think most Sydney people would probably agree with you, to be honest. Yeah, there you go. See, look, look, let's look at what Player 40's got to say, guys. Is Men at Work a national band over? Yeah, see, do you think I haven't heard the national... Fucking hell. Fuck up with that. <laughs> Alright, we got him. Actually, we don't need to go this way yet. Actually, I'm just gonna... Actually, I do. I just need to quickly go down here and do something. Bear with me. I just need to use this key. P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way. Uh-huh. We got plenty of ammo. Who could it be now? See, I have that as a thank you screen. I just don't have it loaded right now. <laughs> How you going, Brian? Good to have got Bry Guys Gaming Corner in the house. Good to see you, Bry Guys. 
How you, how you been keeping, dude? You alright? And uh, we also got uh, Garrett in here. Good to see you, Garrett. Am I related to Steve Irwin? Yeah, he was my uncle. Of course I'm related to Steve. You do realise that the population of Australia is uh, 25 million, right? You do realise we have 25 million people living here. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've played... That's nice to know, Joshy. I can't even remember the Prime Minister they had as the leader in, uh... Civilization VI. I'm kind of surprised at who they picked. But, um... Anyway, I, I did play a little Civilization 6. I had it on the Switch, but I traded it in. Well, my favorite Civilization still going way back to number 3, guys. I don't know if you ever played Civilization before. It's a good time killer. And uh, do I have the 3's company theme? I don't, Jeremy. I don't, my friend. See what I walked into? Be kind. And no one knows how to be kind. They only know how to give me shit. <laughs> Look at Rick having a pity party once again. Oh, we got this. So we're just going to go down the stairs and into the parking lot now. As I said, big thank you for watching, guys. This is the Resident Evil 2 HD remaster. Uh, donated very kindly to us by Emperor Thanos. So a big thank you for hooking me up. New shadows, visuals, very, very clean to look at. I think Civilization 3 is the best too. It's my favourite. Oh, Claire, get the fuck out of here, silly head. Come on, when's he gonna die? Right, we got him. So, Mel says you're kind and nice. Are you really... Are you really, or are you just playing tricks on me? Hey, go on, Nate. Thank you for coming in. Joseph says you love Parasite Eve on PS1. That was a game you wish it would have kept going. You never know. Square might do a remaster one day. Hey, I wouldn't put it past him. So we actually got to go downstairs and do the Sherry Bobbin mission in a sec. This is... I'm actually just going to pick that up and use it. Do I like Child's Play? I actually like the new Child's Play until the end. I, I thought the, the used Child's Play was pretty good until the end when it became like a Five Nights at Freddy's. That was a bit weird. But I actually enjoyed the movie. Like, a lot of people didn't. I did. Is it true if you don't lock your doors, kangaroos will break into your house? I've never heard of that actually happening. But, uh, I mean, eh. Alright, that's all done. Raphael says he'd love to see a Dino Crisis remake. I'm actually, you just, I really want to practice Dino Crisis and possibly put it on for you eventually. As I said, I might have to take some notes down though, because the puzzles in Dino Crisis are a big pain in the ass. So I'll kind of need a walkthrough if I'm going to try it, but, um, YOLO, we can put it on one day. And are we going to go in here? Oh, dude, wow, I had no idea. Guys, we've got a very, very, very special uh, shout-out going out to Quiet Josh. Quiet Josh says, wow, you're doing awesome tonight, Ricky. You just got over 20-plus new followers in a row. Really? On Facebook or the YouTube? I guess it doesn't matter. 20-plus new followers is awesome. Joshy... Uh, just dropped a $10 super chat. My brother, thank you for everything you always do. All right, screw it. We haven't done this yet today. I'm a hot dog. I'm a hot dog. Look at me. Look at me. This is for you, Josh. Man, thank you for everything you constantly do for us, Josh. I appreciate you, man. It's still going, Your Honor. Man, that's awesome. Yeah, one, one coin only has been getting some incredible uh, growth lately. I'm a little bit overwhelmed, hey? It's, it's been a, an incredible ride uh, the last couple of months. We actually got about, on Facebook this week, uh, about 1,500 followers, new followers this week, which is pretty awesome. How you going, Jay? Good to see you. And, uh, 
Josh just dropped a big 300 stars as well. Joshy Lane. Joshy Lane, thank you very much. This is going out to you. Yeah, thank you. A big, yeah, absolutely. A big shout out to all our new followers. I've got to do the big welcome announcement in a second. Thank you, Joshy Lane. And, uh, yeah, guys, I mean, if you're new here, we are one coin only. Classic current gaming stream, guys. We do everything from old school to new school, and we're on seven nights a week from 7 p.m. till late. And sometimes in the mornings, too, guys. So, we would love to see you more often. You can rely on us. We work pretty hard here. And, uh, we're gonna put that away. And, uh, we'll combine that. And we'll just put that away for now. I'll be right with you guys. And uh, I'm sorry to hear you're not doing too well, uh, Bry Guy. What's going on, sir? Anything you want to talk about? We want to be here for you, buddy. We want you to turn that smile upside down. Or that frown, I should say. Not that smile. What the fuck, Rick? Here's Rick asking everyone to turn their smiles upside down. And everyone's going to be like, wow, Rick's an asshole. He wants us all to be sad. That's not what I meant. I misspoke. I'm not perfect, you know. Oh my gosh! We've got to go now, honey, okay? All right. If we stay here, that will find us. <laughs> How you going, Sean? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. No, I won't. What Jeremy says, "How did this game get remastered?" A good question. That's not the question for me, though. I I'm just playing this kind gift from Emperor Thanos. My daddy, he's over there. Hey, go, Mighty Mouse Gaming. That's not a smile. That's an upside-down frown. Oh, that's what we're gonna call it now. When I catch Viper doing Resident Evil, he's mega OCD with inventory management. Usually I am too. Um, that's why I absolutely can't stand Resident Evil 1 Remake. Because I feel like you're spending more time at the fucking chest than you are actually playing the game. So I've got no desire any time in the near future to play Resident Evil 1 Remake again. That game can go fuck itself! And Jason says you heard baby kangaroos are called pouch potatoes. Well, there you go. <laughs> but dun dun -ch. We're gonna go in here. Come on, Sherry Bobbins. Don't let those dogs eat you. Watch out, a dingo's gonna eat my baby! That, that must be Lindsay Chamberlain's kid. Okay, did I just say that out loud? Shit. I can't untake that back. Please don't report me. I, I don't want to get sued for slander. <laughs> Alright, we... Shit. I really should think before I just put my foot in it. Anyway. <clears throat> there you go. We'll just say it's Meryl Streep's kid. <laughs> We're going to go up here. Are you So, Bryce, do you want to be happier? Thanks for asking and caring about you. would like to be able to talk to you, Ricky, on Facebook Messenger sometime soon. If you're able to. Alright, man. I want to I wanna make sure that you're okay, um... Bry guys, no dramas. Oh my gosh, play a f <laughs> shit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we're very naughty, Josh. We're very naughty. And then Josh says, "Yeah, I'm offended." Is there any Aussies that were actually offended with the Lindsay? Yeah, the whole country is torn. Like, literally, fifty percent of people think she's innocent, and fifty percent of people think she's. But basically, okay, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go out of here. When, whenever I say anything questionable, you say you had a mini stroke. Oh, that's a good idea. All right, we're just gonna go over this and. So, so Fryzy says, is the GameCube much better than the PlayStation ones? I always thought the GameCube had way better graphics. Like, if, if I play this, and I go back to showing you the, the PlayStation 2 version, um, you can notice a difference straight away. Or well, the PlayStation 1 version, I mean, sorry. Look at Sherry running around. So, Steve says, you, um, you said you're going to bed... Tomorrow's your last day of vacation. No worries, Steve. You enjoy that rest, man. Yeah, I get you then. you got to catch up with that extra sleep before you're back on the hustle. Man, I hope overall you've enjoyed your, uh, your time off, man. I'm going to be right with you, Steve. 
Yeah, well, it looks like we're officially getting Cobra Kai on Netflix, according to what I've seen on Facebook, if the rumors are true. Hey, before we go, this is for you. What are we going to give to you? Thank you, Steve. I really appreciate it. Well, there's a lot of people in the rebuilding process after all the fires. I definitely don't think we all think it's okay. But the problem is the world's been distracted with so much other news that, you know, when one thing comes in, the other one pops out. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't take that personally. Thank you, Steve. You take care, man. We got Joshy Love in here. Don't forget, the be as much as I love your stars, they really help us out. The best way to help us out is 100% for free. Just by liking and sharing the stream, guys. If you know any horror groups or any gaming groups. Get her out there. Damn it. Are we going to go in this? I think you definitely can, Emperor Thanos. I mean, I've, I've been enjoying this. The clarity is amazing. So D Wayne says, if we don't have so, aliens come to Earth, okay? so uh, D Wayne's waiting for like a world, world yes, uh, War I'm of the okay. Worlds scenario. But I find him. <laughs> we need Tom Cruise to come save I the planet. Hey, if there's anyone that knows about uh, aliens, it's freaking Tom Cruise, right? We'll just leave that one there. How are you going there, Zert? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Thanks, sweetie. Now, why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. <clears throat> Reach the ventilation hole anymore. But don't worry, I'll find another way. Oh, excuse me. I can take care of myself. Wait, Sherry, come back. Sherry, Sherry. I don't know if I'm gonna do scenario A and B. If I only end up doing scenario A, don't worry, I'm going to um I'm still going to uh play a, a, a an overnight stream. I'm just man, I'm so flat today. You know what it is? I'm off the caffeine again. <laughs> I just realized I'm off the caffeine again. All right, we're going to put some more stuff away. Give me one second here. Yeah, don't forget, we got Mr. Headlock Gaming over on YouTube. If you want to hang out with D-Wayne guys, you can say hello to him over there. I know we got a lot of D-Wayne fans on here tonight. And, uh... Oh man, I'm glad you and your missus can have a, a, a good time. It's almost criminal how much tax the government thinks they can take off people, huh? Especially when they're taxing everything else. Hang in there, Josh. I hope you have a nice time. Oh, hey, D-Wayne's getting around like the town bike. <laughs> D-Wayne's on Facebook now. So D-Wayne says if you do scenario A and B, then you'll see the whole... Fucking hell, I'm dead. Man, I love it. Man, I love how witty you are, bro. I don't know how you come up with your jokes so quick, but they're hilarious. <laughs> oh, gosh. Big shout out to Mr. Headlock Gaming. Guys, please don't forget to follow D Wayne on Headlock Gaming as well. You can see him both here on uh, One Coin Only and Headlock Gaming every day. I'm dead, man. That was. Oh, shit. There we go. We got the card key. <laughs> Oh, I'll, I'll work out what I'm going to do for the late night. I don't know what I feel like yet. I haven't had a turn at arcade games for a little while. Maybe I can do some arcadey stuff. I can't even remember the last time I did an arcade stream. It was probably a month ago. You think D. Wayne and I should be roommates? I'd love to live with D. Wayne. I don't think D. Wayne could put up with me for more than five minutes, to be honest. I, th I think I'd be living with D-Wayne for about five minutes. He'd be like, Rick, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> get it. Get away from those liquors, you sumbish. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Uh, get out, Rick. What are you doing? <clears throat> How you going there, Benji? Good to see you. Thank you for hanging out. And uh, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the machine gun, and I'm gonna leave the backpack for uh, Leon. So yeah, I'll take the machine gun. Go ham sandwich on everything. 
Uh, I'll, I'll equip the machine gun. There we go. Alright, so we're going to equip this bad boy. Cool. Especially if... It, what was that about the, doing the hot dog dance over and over? So Tyler says I need to do some Metal Gear. We are going to do some Metal Gear on the channel eventually. We will. Good night to you too, Andy. Take care. See, D. Wayne says he, he prefers to live in utter silence. See, there you go. I prefer to live alone too, to be honest. Alright, there you go. Oh, okay, we're in danger already. Well, shit. Okay, I'm going to reload this. D. Wayne doesn't like the hot dog dance at all. Sherry. I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh no, I have to do this all over again. The save didn't work. Shit. Oh, come on. Why did this... Oh my gosh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, I have to backtrack. Okay, I'm definitely only doing scenario A tonight. I'm so sorry, guys. Shit. I'm an introvert too. I, I just kept my extroverted side out in camera. Alright, we got to do this really quickly. I'm so, so sorry, guys. Fuck. And, um... <clears throat> so, Mike says, Ricky D, D, Wayne, Commodore, the Mount Rushmore of one coin only. Well, that means we need one more person. <laughs> There's, like... Isn't there four heads on Mount Rushmore? It's alright, we'll do this one more time. Sorry about that, guys. It's okay, calm down, just get the machine gun again. Don't you be telling one coin to calm down, that doesn't work out too well. You know, you know, it's like when you tell your girlfriend to calm down. I tell you what, guys, I'm gonna give you some homework tonight. If you've got a girlfriend, go to your girlfriend after she's had a hard day of work tonight and tell her to calm down. And then if you're still alive, come back to me tomorrow and tell me the result. And uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Nick says, don't worry, Rick, shit happens. Yeah, I know it does, but still. I'm going to do this really quickly. Don't worry, guys. We're almost out of here. <clears throat> oh, man. Calm up. We can calm up. Oh, there we go. We did that pretty quick. One of my trigger buttons on this controller is stuck for some reason. I don't know if anything's gotten stuck underneath it or not, but it's not working properly. I might have to start using my new Xbox controller soon. Yeah. I might have to... We'll work it out. I might need to buy another couple of these spare. Will you take the precinct key? I will. Hey, go on there, Edmar. Good to see you today. Thank you for hanging out. Appreciate you. And, uh, come up. What's... Oh, tell her to come up. Oh. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, that could make a difference. I don't know. I tell you what, if I could understand the mind of females, I'd be doing a lot better with them already. I think we're just going to get a couple things in here and that'll be it. So this is usually the way that Ada comes in, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. So we got this. This will all come in handy at the end. Alright, let's go. Let's go, Sherry Bobbins. Try slamming the control on the floor fast. Technical tap fixes all. Uh, I, I've tried that trick before, D. Wayne, and it's not worked too well, unfortunately, man. Fucking Sherry Bobbins, get out of here. My gosh, Shirley Temple, what the hell is wrong with you? Get out of there, bish. Get out, Sherry. Damn, she almost dead. So what else is going on, guys? Damn hot day today in Washington State. We kind of we got that weird uh, weather in Australia right now where it's like really cold at night, but really warm during the day. It does. Yeah, David just brought up that new um, 
Well, yesterday we played on the 3D NES emulator, and it's really nice to look at. But the games are a little bit more tricky to play, because you've got to get used to the new angles and stuff. Man, I absolutely butchered Contra. I have to apologize for that. I think I, it took me like... It took me 70 lives, I think, to beat Contra in 3D. It was kind of embarrassing. Oh my gosh, yeah, I would not recommend doing that. <laughs> so D Wayne says you've got that Florida weather right now. And Ricky, tell him to calm down if it doesn't work to say fuck off. That's a good idea. Hey, you know what? I, I I already say fuck off, hence why I don't have a girlfriend. She's like, okay, well, there you go, bye bye girlfriend. <laughs> No, I don't. I don't usually. Uh... Yeah, I'm, I, I I don't talk to ladies like that. Actually, I have once. I was ashamed of myself, but I found out she cheated, so she kind of deserved it. But that was the only time I ever spoke really badly to one. But uh, yeah, I, I've got to get a little bit less emotional sometimes. <clears throat> all right, so all right, we can just keep going up here. All right, we're gonna go get that uh, machine gun again. Finally, hey. Almost back to where we were. Wait till we get six Ds. It's gonna it's gonna take uh, 140 lives. Yeah. Or well, what about it? What about if we get double Ds? Then the, the eyes aren't gonna be on the computer screen. Okay. That's. See, as you can see, D Way, my jokes are not as good as yours. Yeah, Helen says if you cheat, you deserve to be told to fuck off. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, but yeah, you know, I think sometimes, like, the best thing you can do is just stay calm and walk away. Like, that's that's just the best thing you can do. Just be like, alright, well, you're out of my life. See you later. <clears throat> you, vote for, you vote for the double Ds. Double Ds where? There you go. Now everyone's excited for the old double Ds. I might need to plug in my other controller in a second. I'm having some problems with the button here. Hey, you going, Jermaine? Good to see you. Thank you for hanging out. Let me let me see let me see if I can go with the other control. I, I'm just gonna let me let me see if I can. Um... There we go. This control works better, guys. I just plugged in my other control. Right, we got it. I don't know why that other button stuck for, but it's really annoying me. So do we do we end up picking up that card key? We did. Ricky Cushman with the hundred stars. Thank you so much, Ricky. Really appreciate you, man. D Wayne brings up a good point. He's he's not wrong. He says the best revenge is just to live happy. Yeah, and uh, I agree with that because why give someone like free rent space in your head? Do you know what I mean? You're 100% spot on, D-Wayne. This is for you, Ricky. Best Ricky on the planet. Apart from me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ricky. Really appreciate you coming in. How you doing, good sir? So Jeremy says it's uh, 92 in northeast Pennsylvania today. That's pretty warm. Will you take the machine gun? Yes. Can't believe how much state space that takes. Alright, here we are. Hey, um, y'all yep, doing pretty good, Ricky, man. We're just trying to get through this HD edition of Resident Evil, and then we'll come on with a, a late night of some description, which I haven't decided on yet. Do you think the Aussie jokes have finally subsided for the day? I'm pretty thankful for that. We're a little bit sick of them. No, we don't, I don't think we have to come back down here again today, so that's great. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear, Helen. It's um, yeah, it's never a fun thing, is it? It's hotter than a gas station hot dog here. Oh my gosh, a gas station hot dog. I actually, um, I actually, when I was in Connecticut, driving on the way to Retro World Expo, I wanted to get a gas station hot dog. And I think 16-Bit Heroes was next to me. I think it was 16-Bit Heroes. 
And he was like, yeah, Rick, I would recommend that you don't eat those. And uh, I was like, okay, thanks, bud. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. All right, we're going to just keep going back this way. How many of these... Um... Ricky, thankful for what's going on in the world? Man, I'm very thankful every day. I'm fortunate that I can still work at home. So, uh, so nobody ever cares, says Ricky, what's your favorite food? Dude, I like, um, I like all food. I've got very international tastes. It can be Asian, it can be Indian, it can be, like, uh, Italian, it can be, uh, Mexican, it can be, I, I, my favorite food is anything that's got a bit of heat in it. Like, if you've got some chili or some peppers in it, then you're, uh, you're going on the right track, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, the hotter it is, the better. Chris Stedman just dropped a big 100 star. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate that, man. We're gonna, what are we going to give to Chris today? Let me roll down here. And um, I'm trying to find the buddy song. Do we have Child's Play here? I haven't done that screen in a while. Here we go. You are my buddy. Thank you so much, Chris. Yeah, you're happier than a nine-year-old kid with his doll. <laughs> Thank you, man. Really appreciate the 100 stars today. Do you consider Taco Bell as authentic Mexican food? No. No, 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 no. You guys think just because we're in Australia that we don't have real Mexican food? We have real Mexican food over here. If you want to get the authentic stuff, you've got to go somewhere like um, Montezuma's. Monty Zoomers is a really nice Mexican casual dining uh, kind of place. Will you take the Eagle Stone? Yes, I will take the Eagle Stone. Bakru, get out of there. I like all food, man. I mean, if you couldn't tell, Rick Rick likes to eat. I like to eat a lot, mate. Can we do we open that? I don't need to go in that door. My bad. So UK's coming out of lockdown. Bars are going to start opening 4th of July. So uh, from um, in Australia, it's from the 10th of July in Queensland that we're allowed to have 100 people in a, in a bar at once. So we, we can finally go to the bar and have a beer, Joshy, if you're still in here. I've been meaning to have a beer with Josh for ages, and then this whole My Sharona business happened. They were like, thank you for that. There we go. Gotta just save here. We're gonna be a bit careful. All right. So what are we gonna do now? We're just gonna heat this up. So what food do I hate with a passion? What food do I not like? Ah, uh, that is a good question. There's not a lot of. I mean, my theory, my my um, my philosophy with food is as long as it tastes good and doesn't make me sick, I'll eat it. Um, but uh, there's not really that much food that I dislike. I, I hate food that's that's dry and been sitting out there for ages, you know what I mean? I hate food that's not fresh. I've got a... I've, I've had, like, bad cream and milk growing up as a kid. So I'll actually not, um... Have, like, cream or milk if it's within a couple days of its use-by date. I, I can only have that stuff when it's fresh. So that's a little thing for me. They have a fruit mite like they have a veggie mite. Yeah, we call it jam, D Wayne. <laughs> yeah, fruit. That's just, that's just called jam. Oh my gosh, really, really, really. All right, we're gonna go back up the stairs now. We're done here. You gonna be on me like a spider monkey? You hate the spam fake ass meat? Yeah, I've got some in the in the cupboard, but that was only in case I needed it. You think I should do a beat it or eat a burrito shake? You know what? That's actually not a bad idea. We could do that. All right, I've got to go out. Which way am I going? Where do you go, my son, bish? We're almost out of the police station, guys. Don't you worry. We're pretty close to being done. We're just going to go back upstairs here. Nobody ever cares. I did, I did the um, whole packet. I did... 
I, I love it when people come in and tell me to do the one chip challenge when I did a whole packet. I did 1.5 million Scoville units chips. I did a whole 50 gram bag. I've already done it. That's probably the most hardcore challenge I've ever done, actually. How you going, Rodney? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate you, man. We're just going to go back to this chest quickly and sort our shit out. Oh, you lost your sense of smell and taste three years ago? Oh, if you don't mind me asking, Helen, what happened? If, if, only if it's not too personal, of course. Sorry to hear. I love I love food. That's that's not a yeah. That's not pleasant. We're gonna um. Okay, we're gonna leave that all in there for now. Otherwise, yeah, we'll just we will come back to this chest anyway. So it's no big deal. All right, saving. Oh wait, I need the crank, don't I? Don't want to forget the crank. I'm always forgetting the crank. And, um, how you going, Lewis? Good to see you today. Thank you for coming in. Welcome, 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 buddy. Oh, that's no good, Helen. Is there, you got to try the devil's toe. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Is there any way that you can get them back or once they're gone, they're gone? There you go. He's a dead fuck now, isn't he? Take that. Take that, rewind it back. Right in here we go. Fantastic. Don't forget to keep smashing those likes, everybody. Yeah, I, I want to do Satan's Toe. Uh, I think Voxney did that on stream like about a year ago. And it like almost killed her. <laughs> What's the craziest food I've ever tried? Oh, dude, I haven't tried anything overly crazy. Like... You know, the, the, you know, like, kangaroo, crocodile. I mean, it's not that crazy. It's uncommon, it's not crazy. And nobody cares, says, where's my favourite tr place to travel to? Everyone uh, here knows already, it's it's Thailand. It's my favourite place in the world. It's just such a, just... The city never sleeps, you can always go out and do something, or go out and eat something. The people are, are lovely, it's laid back. People actually want to be your friend over there. Um, it's just a, a lovely country. We're gonna go back over them here. Oh shit. Alright, there we go. We got him. I was so sick of that. Might have to pull a herb out in a second. And uh, Ken says, you got this game brings back so many memories. Yeah, man. I mean, I first played this over 20 years ago. I can't believe it's already been that long now. It's pretty crazy when you think about it, huh? And, um... Aaron just dropped a big 150 stars. Aaron, thank you so much for the kind support today. This is for you. Hot potato, hot potato. There you go. Bringing back my inner child there. Thank you so much, sir. Really appreciate it. There we go. I, I, hopefully when I've, if I ever, if, heaven forbid I ever have kids, which is not looking likely, but if I do, hopefully those old, old fogies now will come back for a Wiggles return or something. I, I'd love to introduce my future kids to the Wiggles. <clears throat> so Aaron says, what type of part of Thailand do I like? I like both Bangkok and Phuket. I spend most of my time in Phuket because it's a lot more laid back. Because I live in the city here, so spending time in Bangkok too much, as, as much as I like it, it's um, it's not like you're on holidays because you come from the city anyway. So I, I kind of like Phuket. Thanks to the fans, it's aged better. You're not freaking wrong, dude. Thank you once again, Emperor No, I don't do that stuff, nobody ever. I don't do that stuff, and I don't like to encourage that stuff on the stream either. Like, I know I do my hookers and blow jokes, but they're just jokes. <clears throat> and then Delano says, yo, shut up. Yeah, no, how about you fuck off? <laughs> there you go, if you don't have to be here. I love it, you know, it's, it's funny. Like, um, people get angry that you're streaming when no one's forcing them to be here. It's, it's really weird like that, isn't it? you got all sorts of creepos. 
Have I ever gone to Pattaya? No, nah, I think Pattaya would be, uh... Pattaya is like a bit of an adult Disneyland, if you get what I'm saying. And, uh... I, t I just, I don't think I'd survive a weekend there, so I sort of, yeah, nah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, nah. I, uh, nah, I haven't. I know a lot of my friends have. Oh, I missed your stars. I'm so sorry, Cruz. Thank you for letting me know. Let me just go back up here. And a comment, there we go. I miss Cruz's stars. Where are they? Oh, Cruz, okay. Excuse me, guys. Cruz just dropped 100 stars. Let me clear my throat here for a second. <coughs> Leroy Jenkins! Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins! Oh my god, he just ran in. Thank you so much, Cruz. Hey, I think I'm getting better at it, bro. What do you think? I, th I think I'm getting a little bit better at it, my man. Do you think I'm getting better? I think I'm getting better. I, I, I personally think I'm getting better, but what do you know, Rick? Alright, we're almost out of here, guys. Let's bounce. Oh, gosh. Cool. And, uh, I think we're gonna need some health items. Yeah, we might need, uh... Might need one of these herbs quickly. Don't mind me. But we've got plenty... Okay, yeah, let's just use that one for now. Cool, out of here. You think I'm doing... I think I'm getting better. I think I'm getting better at that. <laughs> What's wrong, Brian? You okay? You don't like my Leroy Jenkins. Guys, I've got... Wow! I didn't realize Bry Guys' Game Corner has been a follower of OneCoin for, like... That means, Bry Guys, you've... I knew you were here right from the start. But I didn't realize you were here from day one. That is incredible, dude. I think you are the longest term follower we've got in the page, man. That is that is something else. How you going today, Ron Moe? Good to see you. Thank you for hanging out. That is incredible. Claire. Wow, that's yeah, man. That is special. Sherry, you're okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. As I said, guys, we're just gonna do one scenario today. And uh, we'll do another scenario um, another time. But what we'll do is we'll come on with some late night arcade action. I know I've been playing a, a lot of Resi lately. I genuinely love Resi. But I know I do ne need to mix things up a little bit. So I'll do some like arcadey stuff uh, in the late night for you guys. So uh, hopefully you can make it for our next stream. We'll be going... Uh, I'll have a small break, but we'll be on for about another four hours in total, guys. So... Uh, we can get out of here. I don't think I don't think Shirley Temple needs to follow us now. Can you get original Resi 2 for Xbox? You can't actually, my friend. Tori says you enjoy Resi streams. In the next couple days, or maybe even tomorrow, we might be doing Ada and Resi 6, because we haven't done um What am I supposed to do? Is there a switch? Okay. Matthew says, would I have asked his phone number, would I call her? Not if she didn't know me, because that's creepy. You know, if, if I met Asker on the street and she was like, here, yeah, have my phone number, call me sometime, then yeah, 100%. But you know, if someone gave me her phone number, I wouldn't call her if she didn't know me, that's creepy. That, that's borderline stalkerish, actually. So, yeah, the, the answer, yeah, it depends. <laughs> Thank you, Jordan. Jordan says it's officially the most crisp version of Resi 2 you've seen. It looks phenomenal, doesn't it? <clears throat> yeah, they've done an incredible job on this. Yeah, it's a, the GameCube uh, H uh, Fan HD Remake. It's pretty big in size too, guys. Like, the file was something like 12 or 13 gig. But the fan remake does this for Resi 2 and Resi 3. Yeah, I, th I think it will be eventually, David. Maybe, maybe not initially, but they'll bring out a uh, they'll bring out a VR version. I think. <laughs> Good night to you too, Gavin. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. Appreciate you. Not bad, Who do I fancy more, Asuka or Kyrie Sane? 
I think Kyrie Sane's a, a, a little bit better looking, but Asuka's just got that person. I love, I love Asuka's personality, man. It just, just grabs you through the screen. That is big for an old game. That's what I mean. So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must so Megan says your brother gave your phone number to Mike. He was so nervous to talk to you at first time. Mike was so cute back then. Then, because uh, he was shy to talk to you. I'm glad you guys got to meet, hey? Jerry says Kari is too cute for WWE. She, yeah, she looks like, uh, she looks like a doll. She doesn't look like a wrestler. But she's incredibly talented. Yeah, that's that's basically the one, Kevin. There you go. I'm just trying not to talk over the cutscene for you guys. Big thank you again, guys. We are only 28 likes away, 27 likes away now from uh, 200, which is incredible, guys. Thank you for getting on that. Don't forget to smash the follow button too, guys. We stream every single day. We don't just play Resident Evil. We play lots of different games. I want to come back on with some Max Payne 3 eventually as well. I just don't know when. Maybe I can do that for one of the morning streams uh, coming up over the week. This morning we're going to do some Sega Genesis though at 9am. Uh, we're going to do... Um, I've got a Sonic hack that I want to play for you guys. And I also want to do Eternal Champions. So that's probably what we're going to do this morning. Um, yeah, we'll go down. How you going, Joseph? Good to see you. There you go. All, all my friends on YouTube are sharing some culture right now. Nothing wrong with being a little bit cultured. I like, I like to think I'm a little cultured. In some ways. And then I throw all that out the window by going, Fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, there's not much culture in that. <laughs> Cruz, did you send more stars again? Did you? Man, I feel so rude. I don't know why I keep missing people's stars for. Did, did I miss your stars again, Cruz? As, as I said, guys, if I miss any comments or, or miss any stars, just let me know. Just, just copy and paste or whatever. I don't ever mean to be rude. As I said, you guys don't owe me a single thing. So the last thing I, uh want to do is seem ungrateful every time you give me the support, you know? Oh, I think we got him. Is he dead yet? Let's die already, buddy. Okay, okay, I guess. You used to do kill... A save. Yes, we do need a save. Can we shoot this sunbish? Okay, now it's finally dead. I was going to be like, jeez, mate. All right, let's go get Sherry Bobbins up the stairs. So, Chris says I need to do some Killer Instinct Gold soon. We, we can... Uh, I might do the Killer Instinct remake eventually again. But uh, I remember the last time I did the Killer Instinct remake, people were bitching because I wasn't an expert at it. They were like, you're supposed to do the combo like this, and you're supposed to do this, and you're supposed to do this. And oh, is this your first time playing, Rick? You must be such a noob. And I was just going to be like, well, you guys can all fuck off then. I won't play the game ever again, will I? That was pretty much me the last time I played Killer Instinct. Like, you can't... On the internet, you can't just play games casually. Everyone expects you to be the number one in the world. It's like, oh, wait, you got a fucking stream page? You can't even do that five-hit fucking combo. And it's just like, well, get over yourself, fucker. Jeez! Anyway. <laughs> Oh gosh. Claire, you came back. I yeah, I was just having another Rick rant. Don't mind me. What's wrong, That's seriously what happens. But I think I found a way out of here. That's why I was nervous about playing Mortal Kombat 10 the other day, XL. I was worried people were going to give me a serving uh, on that, but it surprisingly went well. I get a hard time quite often for playing Street Fighter 5. Don't 
I, I do I do get a bit of a serving for Street Fighter V. And D Wayne says he's a top ranked sleeper. Yeah, and you know what, D Wayne, it's a, it reflects in your work because you're well re rested. Your work is phenomenal. I just come on and stream like a freaking drunk person every day. Ricky Rance, Killer Instinct Edition. Yeah, <laughs> I know, totally right. Oh gosh. Totally, totally, totally. And Emperor Thunnel says, you missed a day of just chucking Hadoukens? Yeah. Ah, oh, it is what it is. What are you going to do, hey? Alright, so we should just be able to go. So everything, in, the good news is everything from here on in is just linear. Once you're done with the police station, there's none of this backtracking bullshit anymore. So, um, yeah, we're just going to get the fudge out of here. I hated that I had to go back and get her, though. That's just a big time waster. Brian says you enjoy any game you play, even if you do bad. Well, thank you very much, Brian. Thank you. I'm not the world's most talented player, and yet I still have people come in and watch me, so I should consider myself lucky. Hey, apparently I'm first in Australia on Resident Evil 3 Remake, though. Hey, look, Aussie, 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 mate. Apparently, there you go, I'm going to start hot-dogging. Yeah, I was about to crack a virgin joke, player 40. Oh, wait, I just said it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Claire? Run. And so, Jason says, any game that brings out the Rick Rage is your favourite. Oh... That's almost everything, so I guess that's why you're here every day. That makes perfect sense. Oh, where'd Sherry Bobbins go? Oh, we got to use Sherry Bobbins again. All right. Sherry, let's, let's 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 go let's let's go dancing in the shit. Let's go, let's go dancing in the fountain of poop. Dancing, 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 dancing. Yeah. There you go. You smell like a... You smell like, yeah. All disgusting. So where are we going to go now? Just down here? Alright, in this door. Oh, Brian says he's still learning from me because you want to start a game page yourself? I highly recommend it, man. Like, honestly, this is one of the most rewarding things um, I've done in my whole life. And I recommend this to anyone as long as they're willing to put in the work. I haven't had a Twinkie in ages. You, you, you can get Twinkies here, but you have to get them from, like, the American candy stores. Wait till you see the croc in this... Okay. Trying to get out of there. Oh, dude, are you serious? Where, where was my last save? Okay, that's not too bad. I couldn't get out of there, guys. I just got... Oh, that was so freaking stupid. Sherry's fucked hard, man. Excuse me. Lucky, lucky I had a save pretty recently. See, I'm not using ink ribbons today. Let's try this again. I, I couldn't get out of there, man. It was a pain. So is there anyone in here that's new that hasn't said it hello to yet? Don't forget, guys, my bark is worse than my bite. We're uh, not just a gaming stream here, guys. You can see we're a social stream. We all hang out every day, just talk a bunch of nonsense. And uh, don't be afraid to say hello if you're new. You're always welcome to lurk, but um, we, like to, we like to get to know the whole Sambish army. Alright, so we're just... Oh my gosh, Sherry, get out of there! Dude! I can, what am I supposed to... I can't even get in my inventory. Oh my gosh, that is... Oh, so Sherry's still okay. That is just... Re, fuckity fuck! Alright, we got it. 
Yeah, in my heart of hearts, I am, David. I am. Alright, we got... Yeah, that was annoying. So, Emperor Thanos says you can't stream because the kid's allowed, but you're going to switch things around. Oh, nice, man. You're going to make yourself a little den or something. Hey, Nate, I know you're not new. Alex says, like you, you're always lurking, but always here. <laughs> Oh, you, 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 you set a great example for the stream, thank you, Alex. You do a lot for us. Good to see you too, Lukey. Oh, that's all sorted. So now which way do I have to go? Where do you go, my sumbish? Na, 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 na. All right, I don't need the blue herbs. So I have to figure out what uh, arcade games we're going to do after this tonight, hey? I'll probably I'll probably bounce up the road and get some caffeine as well. I know it's bad for me. What are you going to do? Can we do we have to put anything away yet? Yes, we're going to put those away for now because we need some more space. And I've got to remember to take out uh, the the crank, otherwise we're going to have to backtrack, and that will really suck. I think that is all we need there right now. Is there anything in this bag? Will you take the handgun bullets? I guess so. Alright. Um, Alright, we'll go in here. Just look for a couple more things. Cruz dropping 100 stars again. Thank you, Cruz. Cruz, what are we going to give to Cruz this time? This one. <laughs> thank you for the big 100 stars, Cruz. I appreciate that. And thank you for the kind words. Steven says I have nice legs. Thank you, bro. I've been working on my, uh... Oh, you know, I've just been... I've just been making sure not to skip leg day. What can I tell ya? And Fryzy, I'm just glad that after three years you still like to enjoy uh, watching what we do, man. It's, it's a big compliment to me that after three years you're not bored yet, so thank you. And, uh... You'll do Batman Resi and Fighters Weekly. Oh, so you want to do Batman? Yeah, we, we don't have enough Batman streamers. It'd be nice to see people stream Batman. <clears throat> no, I get you, Nate. A lot of people lurk in here. Brian says I run my page damn good. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm not good at taking compliments, but I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really need to learn how to take a compliment sometimes, don't I? We're going to go uh, over this, uh... Right, let's go in this sunbish. Okay, so this all be, should be pretty straightforward now. So, Jordan says, Is Aussie like America where there's a hundred different energy drinks? Sort of, Jordan. Like, you guys have got way more brands and flavors than us, but we do have a fair few. Like, there is a complete refrigerator just for energy drinks over here. So, yeah, you, you're half right. Like, we, we don't have the variety you guys have, but we still have a lot. You, you guys would probably come in here and be disappointed with our energy drinks. Just just a hunch. Hey, I tell you what, when you when you go to Southeast Asia, Red Bull's not even carbonated. When, when, you, when you go to Asia, Red Bull's like a syrup. So if you go out to a nightclub in that vicinity... And you're like, they'll like be like, what mixes you want? And you'll be like, Red Bull. Uh, yeah, it's not carbonated. It's kind of like a, a syrup, like a cordial. A fun little fact there. And yeah, you can't you can't even get carbonated Red Bull over in that country, or in that part of the world, I should say. It's multiple countries. So where are we gonna go now? No, that's the right way. All right. Yeah. So how do you play it? That's a good question, Jonathan. I, I don't know because this was gifted to me by Emperor Thanos. Uh, if you would like to learn how to play this yourselves, um, maybe maybe he can tell you in the future. Because I don't know how to find this. This was a gift, to be honest. I'm sure you could probably find this with a Google search. Alex says, where can I find your... Oh, it's pinned on the main page, Alex. <laughs> It's uh, pinned on the main page. 
have to Thank you for that, by the way. Alex wants to send me some energy drinks. That'd be absolutely I epic. Go to the police station. What's she doing and we here? just got a raid from US Army Veteran Gaming. Good to see you there, man. Thank you so much for coming in. Welcome, welcome. We got Jessica in here as well. I actually don't, I don't mind the Red Bull you get in Southeast Asia, actually. Like, for a change, the syrupy one doesn't taste so bad. It's, it's weird at first not having it with carbon, but, um, I tell you what, it makes the drinks go down quicker. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Yeah, Emperor Thanos sent me this one, and number three, yeah. There he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry. You got a little cutscene. I haven't really played this game much. Too busy watching freaking cutscenes, mate. You might hit the sample. Have I ever had a kickstart energy drink? I think we have kickstart over here. Or oh, I, I, I think I think I I think I have actually had kickstart before. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember where. I think maybe some 7-Elevens have it. No, we don't have Bang over here, Jonathan. They don't have Bang and Aussie. So, I, I mean, we've got a lot of, like, lower name brands, but our main ones are Monster, Rockstar, Red Bull, and we got an Australian one, V, V Energy, which is also really popular, and Mother. So they're the five main energy drink companies here, and then you've got a few of the little ones uh, as well. I, li I liked having NOS. When I went to the United States, I had a few cans of NOS. And that was pretty cool. We don't we don't have NOS over here. Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there. Eat this, you freak! I'm stopping it! I I heard that Red Bull and Monster Energy come with taurine, and I heard taurine was taken from Chuck Norris's Hurry. testicles. That's all I know. There you go, William's kind of pissed thing? off now, isn't he? Fire. Well, Will William's kind of pissed off here. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you're back now, mate! Bullshit. Well, that, 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 that's always been the... That's always been the... So those rats the the myth the that that's virus? but it's not true, Quincy. That's and that's always been the myth. But that's not true. William should have lost any memories he had as a human by now. I'm doing pretty him. good, thank you for asking, Aaron. I can't complain, man. But Life is okay. That's not even the entire story. Every G virus bioweapon, including William. Rip it. The official drink for us in Afghanistan. Into other life forms. Rip it. Oh, is that some kind of... I don't know. That just flew over my head. What are you trying to say? So Luke says, what's my favourite food? Anything with chilli in it. But I do love Asian food. So I love Asian food. Like I like Thai food. I like Mexican food. Thai food and Mexican food would probably be it, to be honest. Thai food, Mexican food, Chinese food, and fried chicken. Like, you have to go to KFC and get the hot and spicy, mate. Hot and spicy chicken at KFC is going to be up there. For fried chicken, I think, is on everybody's list. Fry fried chicken is a cruel joke played by the big man upstairs because it's the most tasty thing in the world and it'll also give you heart disease. What kind of joke do you think that is? Anyway. Well, there you go. Well, you know what? I'm. Thank you for that, Quincy. I appreciate it. <laughs> Oh, so that really is that really is a dr uh, energy drink brand. So, so oh, when you were deployed, so I sorry, Aaron, forgive me. I didn't realize it was actually a thing. It just went over my head. So, rip it, energy. I actually saw a vlog. One of my favorite travel vloggers recently, before COVID, was in Afghanistan, and I have to tell you what, the food there looked absolutely freaking amazing. Like it looked, um, oh, dude. They, they they know how to make their food over there, that's for damn sure. And it's obviously the cost of living over there is really cheap too. 
You like weapons in this Resident Evil video game? Yeah, it's pretty good. What was your favorite food when you're in Afghanistan, by the way? What 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 did you like to eat when you're over there? Do you know authentic haggis isn't legal in the United States? I did not know that. I'm gonna go eat some next time I see Como anyway. <clears throat> I like I like I like papaya. Oh, your wife is from Laos. And her your favorite meals: fried chicken, sticky rice, and papaya salad. I like papaya salad. I, 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 it, it, it plays up on a... If you haven't eaten Thai food before, it can play with your stomach a bit. But, uh, no, it's it's awesome. You want me to drink durian coffee? That's probably a thing, you know. I tell you what, like, you, you can get, you can get like, durian fruit from, like, all the markets in Thailand. And if you... The, the hotel rooms have all got big signs saying, do not bring durian, durian fruit back here. So, like... Basically, if you buy durian fruit, you have to eat it at the actual market or the beach because you're not allowed to take it back to the room. But I did it anyway because I'm an asshole. <laughs> oh, you look at that. Oh, there you go. Steve Irwin, eat your heart out, mate. Yeah, it's it just... Uh... I think if Steve Irwin was still alive, he probably wouldn't let me do that. <laughs> He'd be like, you freaking monster, you monster. You think I'm a rebel, Ennis? <laughs> Technically, I didn't actually have the actual, like, it was concentrated durian, so it actually came in like a... I wasn't actually cutting the fruit open. When you cut the fruit open, that's when the stank comes out. But if you've already got it concentrated, it doesn't reek quite as bad. So I, 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 I was, yeah, I was, I wasn't going to annoy the neighbors or anything. Because you remember, for beat it or eat it, one of the challenges I did was a durian fruit concentrated log. You'll be fine. Come on, let's go. All right, let's get, let's get this, um, let's get this over here. I think that's all of it. I might need to use this, uh... Hmm. I wish there was a chest here, but that's fine. Will you go up the ladder? Don't mind if I do. Nate dropping a big hundred stars. Nate, thank you so much, sir. This is for you. Nate, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, man, that croc death was pretty sweet. That looked awesome. They, they really, really did a good job with this. They really did. And, uh, alright, so we got to get that. So, in order to make room, I'm going to have to waste this herb, unfortunately. You never have enough room for stuff. Why, why can't Resident Evil just give me, like, two more inventory spots? Is that too much to fucking ask? Now I have to waste herbs. Because this game's been a complete cock-knuckle. But that's alright. Yes, I'm a grown man that just used the word cock-knuckle. We're going to use this. Right out we go. I'm trying, just trying to think of what weapons I've got. Should I start using the rocket launcher yet? Probably not. No time for love, Doctor Jones. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was that was cool. Oh, the crop death always reminds you of the end of Jaws with it. Oh, dude. I, I, that always haunted me as a kid and it still haunts me. The ending of Jaws, when that guy gets taken off the boat and eat chewed in half, and oh my gosh. That was, um... Still, like, that death scene in the first Jaws towards the end, it, it still holds up. It's freaking brutal, man. It is really brutal. I was just like, oh, that was cringe. That was really, really cringe. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Hey, how you going, Daniel? Daniel says, good evening, Rick. Spin me some Cardi B. Nah, man, I will never, ever, ever play a Cardi B song again. Like, ever. One, one of the... Oh, Shirley Temple's... A, oh, my gosh. One of the perks of not being a DJ anymore is I don't have to play that crap. And then David says, since you're super tardy to the party, let's play some S-Club party. Alright, you got it. David dropping a big hundred stars. Thank you for all the support today, guys. You're awesome. And uh, what do we got? Where's where's my S Club party screen? Here you go.
How you going there, Dustin? Good to see you today. How you going today, Dustin? Everything all right with you? Thank you again, David. I'm, I'm grateful when David sends me stars. I'm not grateful when David sends me whatever Wednesday requests. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, jeez. Uh, so Jonathan says you left me a message on my personal Facebook page. Alright, no worries, Jonathan. I'll go and grab that after. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, where's Sherry Bobbin's gone? Freaking Sherry, you bish. What are you doing? Sherry, she's looking at the fucking wall. I'm sorry, girl. I know you're bored and everything, but jeez, we got to get out of here. Sherry Bobbins, get your ass up here. Freaking, I'll shoot Shirley Temple if she's not careful. My gosh. Freaking Sherry Bobbins. Freaking got no idea. This kid is... yeah. Alright, cool. So we're almost up to the last part of the game. How, how long have we been playing? Two and a... yeah. Probably about 30 minutes left, guys. Very, very close here. Then I'll, then I'll plan a late night for you all. I'm wondering if I should do some arcade games, or would you like to see me do some Truck Simulator? What would you like, guys? Would you like some arcade games, or would you like some Truck Simulator? Will you turn on the power? Yes. No, that's okay, Dave. You're fine. Don't worry, brah. Only, only picking on you a little bit. Sherry Bobbins, get the fuck up! My gosh. Can you discard things? No, you can't. You can, the only way you can get rid of stuff's in the chest, huh? Daniel says, what's my opinion on The Last of Us 2? I thought it had a pretty good narrative. Um... I also thought that it was a little bit too slow paced for streaming, personally. Um, I do feel like the game maybe has a little bit of a biased agenda in a couple things. Uh, but I'm not obviously not going to get political or anything, but... Um, yeah, I think for the most part it's pretty decent. I, I don't think it's terrible. Alright, let's just go. Do I like Dragon Ball Z Carrot Cake? What about The Last of Us Part 2? I just I just answered that question, didn't I? Alright, I don't know if I'm going to have enough room for everything here. But anyway, let's just go. I'm not going to be able to... They, they, they make you spend a lot of time scavenging. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Like, it's a lot of exploration in that game. Like, even more than in the first one, I think. Truth, truth be told. Oh gosh, get out of here. Is he dead yet? He's dead. Anything in here we need? So I'm not going to be able to pick that up. You need two items. Okay, can I get rid of anything? Oh, there's stuff in here that I don't need. Oh my god. Oh well, I'm stuck without that gun now. I'll just have to use a machine gun for the next boss. That's no problem. We can always come back. We've got a chest room coming up, I think. You think you'll stick to Link's Africa? Man, that's that's probably the most common gift given to anyone at Christmas time in Australia. Pretty pretty much, if you've, if you've got like a distant family member that just wants to get you a quick gift, it's always like a Link's Africa pack over here. Now, my Aussie brothers and sisters tell me that I'm wrong, because it's true. You all know it is. <laughs> Have I seen the Crash Bandicoot 4 trailer? Not yet, Jason. So it's officially been announced, it's not just a rumour. I'll, I'll have to check that out afterwards. Yeah, I think, um... I'm not, I'm not upset that Mix is, uh... coming over to Facebook. I think that's going to give the platform more exposure, and that's only a good thing. We don't have to leave them there. My, uh, I'm, I'm, you know what, you can, it's going to surprise you what game I'm looking forward to the most. But I'm actually, like, really looking forward to, um, 
was I going to say? I'm actually really, really, really looking forward to PGA Tour Golf 2K21. Like, in a big way. I think that game's going to be incredible. And I think that'll be a nice game to do on late night streams. Just to sh chill and talk to people. And I think we could make that really fun. How you going, Dave? We've got Davey Ross in here. Good to have you, man. Thank you for coming in. Alright, so we're going to put this away. I don't know if we need to use the handgun bullets anymore. I might, uh... All right, might put this away for now. And what do we got? Um, where's, where's my rocket launcher? And uh, we'll just use the flame rounds for this second. Any anything else in here? We'll, we'll get more rounds later. No, we'll get we'll get grenade rounds too. There we go. Use the acid rounds last. All right, so gonna combine this. Oh, gosh, I hate being so OCD in this, but that's okay. I've got to get the launcher out still. Bear with me. Are you going to go back and get that gun? You've never seen it? Yeah, I'm about to go back and grab it. 100%. Don't you worry about that. Alright guys, we officially have everything we need now. Thank you for letting me fuck around for a sec. So let me just go back and grab that gun and we'll be golden. Yeah, I know I, I know I forgot it, Jordan. Yeah, we're going to quickly go back and get that gun. By the way, David, I'm doing very well, thank you for asking. Let me know how your day's going too, sir. I'm just happy to do a lot of streams. Doing three streams today, my time. Got this stream, got the late night, going to do the 9am. I just want to do as much content for you guys as I can. I hope you're all still enjoying it. I do I do try very hard. Probably try too hard sometimes. Everyone's going to be like, oh, Rick, you're a try-hard. And I'll be like, you know what? I can't deny that. I am a bit of a try-hard. All right, we got this. All right, so we're going to go that next area. As I said, Jeremy, as I said, I'm just a little bit conflicted lately. I think I think it's just because of, um, uh, it's, as I said, like I've been on every day with the exception of maybe 20 days in, in three years. And it's like, damn, man. Yeah. It's like, I'm just, I'm just trying to come up with new things for you guys to enjoy. You know what I mean? <clears throat> it's not, it's not for me. It's for you guys. You think I should stream Mega Man X one day? I have played through Mega Man X once and that was an absolute disaster, but you never know, maybe we can do that in the future. I don't think there's anything we need at that side, is there? I think we just gotta go in here and turn on the computer panel. So Dave says you've been well mate, just been relaxing with the Sunbish Army and the one coin love, that's a one. Hey go on there, Steven, good to see you. Thank you for hanging out. Guys, the amount on this of, of support on this stream has been phenomenal. Keep smashing those thumbs up if you can. We are already on 217, which is incredible. We, we might make our goal 300 likes for this stream. How's that sound? So, uh, as I said, if you're new here, the only price of entry is to smash that like button. Or, I mean, you don't even have to do that. You can do a heart button or a care emoji or you can do a surprise face. Or if you're an angry person, I mean, you can do an angry face. I recommend that you don't. Because, I mean, if you're doing an angry face, you're kind of just showing everyone that you're a little bit of a tosser. But, you know, every other emoji is perfectly fine. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> go, go, gadget, snag time. Jeez, I want some snags. Or share the stream, yo. Just like Patrick said, yes, sir. Share the stream, yo. It's like our friend Ian Tao says. Plug, plug. You gotta add a plug, plug to the end. All right, I've got to remember to equip this other gun. Yes, I'm picking my nose on stream. It's itchy. If my nose gets itchy sometimes, it's a nervous itch. All right, so there we go. So what are we gonna do now? Do we, do we, uh, just go outside? 
Alright, out we go. <clears throat> Player 40 says your local butcher makes some kick-ass sausage rolls. Might attack some for din- Oh man, I'd love a sausage roll right now. But I've already had my cheap meal this week with pizza, so I've got to eat healthy. I'll, I'll go to the store after the late night and, and pick up some stuffs. Don't dig for gold on live stream. Yes. Dave says, better the nose than the... <laughs> Maybe. That's one way to look at it, isn't it? That's certainly one way to look at it. Alright. Here we go, one coin. Here we go. Uh, uh. I don't know how many times we have to shoot him. Get out of there. Get out of there, Claire. What are you doing? Die, you stupid freaking funny looking thing, William. Right, is he dead yet? Fuck, he's still going. Get out of there, Claire. Get out of there, Claire Bear. Where are you going? There you go. Now you're a dead fuck, aren't you? Yeah, how do you like that one, William? Stop picking on women. Alright, we got him. That's all sorted. Alright, we're going to go back to Sherry Bobbins now. Patrick, thank you, man. Patrick just dropped a big 250 stars. Thank you so much. Patrick says, how's the game been? I'm going to tell you after we do your thank you screen. And uh, Ricky loves those stars, man. That's a facts of life right there. <laughs> I don't know why I've got this as a thank you screen. I'll give you another one, too. We're going to give you this one as well, brother. Thank you for the 250 stars. Patrick, this plays exactly the same as the original Resident Evil. Uh, dude, I'm just really enjoying it because it's got some HD visuals and it makes the game look a lot prettier. And I'm really enjoying it. This will uh, definitely have to be the go-to one we use from now on. That's for damn sure. So, there we go. We made it. Thank you so much, Patty, for the 250 stars. Much love to you, brother. As I said, guys, it doesn't matter if you send one star or a million stars. They all add up at the end of the month and really help us out. And uh, they're not expected, but they're very much appreciated, guys. And I, I really thank everyone who has sent stars today. Um, no kids. There we go. We've got to take Sherry Bob into this little room now. And, um, <clears throat> Jeremy, thank you, man. Jeremy, you want me to party? You got it, bro. You got it. Jeremy, thank you. I don't know if I've still got that thank you screen loaded. I think I've, I think I've misplaced that. I'm sure it'll keep you safe. Well, I'll give you the next best thing. I'm sorry, Jeremy. I don't think I've got that one loaded right now. I'm an only child. Just having a look here. We need to bring that screen back. I don't have party all the time at the moment. I grew up alone. It's alright, I'll, I'll give you this one. Now that you're with me, I finally have someone to rely upon. <laughs> well, there you go, Alex. Says, do you prefer a streamer with a cam or without? I, I can't answer for other people, but I think most people do prefer with a cam. I think people like to put a name to a face, Alex. That's, that's my personal opinion. Um, alright, here you go. This is for you, Jeremy. I'll, I'll get party all the time back in you for the future. And uh, thank you again. Daniel says, what are some big titles coming out? Anything to look forward to? So I'm looking forward to, um, obviously, Cyberpunk. Very, very, very much looking forward to Cyberpunk. <coughs> I'm looking forward to WWE Battlegrounds. I'm looking forward to PGA Tour Golf 2K21. I'm looking forward uh, to Formula One 2020. I'm looking forward to NASCAR Heat 5. As you can see, there's actually a lot of games I'm kind of keen for, actually, at the moment. Um, we're going to put that away. We don't need... What am I doing with that? I don't need that anymore, either. Combine. Let me just, let me just get everything I need. Is there another... I think that's everything. All right, cool. Misty Ann says you beat Resident Evil 8. Well, that's a spirit. Alright, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take all these rounds out now. May as well, huh? Alright, just give me a sec. 
this is going to get us through to the end. Alright, so what else? Is there any, any other rounds in here, or is that all of them? Oh no, there's more. See, that's plenty. Man, we're going to get through this game just fine. I'm just going to finish this off, finish off with a rocket launcher. I'm looking forward to Resident Evil 8. That won't be out till next year. Oh no, that, I mean, I guess, I mean, yeah, see, there's no black or white answer. You bring up a good point, uh, Alex. It depends on the circumstances. If you're doing roleplay, um, then yeah, you don't want the focus to... I get it. Like, you, you bring up a very, very good point. I, I, can't, I can't argue with that. But I mean, look at Viper. I, I personally think... Um, I personally think people are more popular on cam, but then you look at someone like Viper who's not on cam anymore, and he gets like hundreds if not thousands of views every day, so it's not always the case. I do think cam for most people makes life a bit easier, just that's my personal opinion. And so David says, plus it's better that the, the, the streamer speaks as well. Um, you supported others that didn't and got bored, so you left. See, that's another problem I'm having right now, because I'm, I'm a talker. I like to be all engaging with you guys and stuff. But I've done nothing but leave this chair for the last uh, eight, nine, ten months. I'm worried I'm going to run out of things to talk about. You know, at least when I was traveling before, I could be like, oh, I did this and I ate this and I saw this, and everyone would be like, oh, yeah, Rick, that's kind of interesting. But, um... Oh, wait, I have to go back in. But yeah, now now that I haven't been able to do anything, I'm worried I'm going to... Oh, you know, I'm like going to be like that guy at the bar that talks like Grandpa Simpson. You know what I'm saying? So, um, alright, so let's just put this in. I think you can play this in widescreen as well, actually. We're just not doing it in widescreen today, but I think this is actually a widescreen game. Can you do Elder Scrolls Online? See, I, I do really enjoy Elder Scrolls Online, but um, the problem is I, I can't play games on the page that aren't going to grow the page. So if I did Elder Scrolls Online, I wouldn't get any people following. Like, it's just a reality. Most of the games I like, I can't stream because it won't grow. It won't grow the brand. I tried to play Final Fantasy X uh, recently, and I had to stop because hardly anyone was watching. Some people are beautiful, and some people dance with hot dogs. You never know what you're going to get with one coin. Patrick, thank you again for another hundred stars, bro. Seth, you do. You do never know what you're going to get. I've, I just realized I haven't put the, I'm, oh guys, I'm running out of concentration here. I see, this is what happens when you multitask sometimes. What are we going to give to Patrick? Patrick, this is for you. Yeah, most, most of my good stories are pretty naughty. I'm not going to lie, Alex. I do have a lot of one coin after dark stories. I've got a lot of stories that will get me thrown off Facebook one day. <laughs> we got to use this. Sorry about that, everybody. Thank you again for the 100 stars, Patty. you got to play those twitchy instant gratification games. You kind of do, man. I'm just... Uh... Oh uh, yeah, I'm incredibly frustrated at the at the moment, cause cause yeah, I feel like I'm controlled. <clears throat> All right, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna use this here. We're gonna just turn the. Wait, can we? What are we gonna do over here? Hey, going, Lenore? Good to see you today. Oh no, I've done Lit Wizards and Warriors. Uh. Pretty recently already, Emperor Thanos. I don't feel like playing it again anytime soon. I will play it again, just not yet. Don't, 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 don't you be greedy, Emperor Thanos. I already put on your game today. <laughs> no, I'll probably, I'll probably do Wizards and Warriors again, brother, in a couple of weeks. So, oh, I 
okay, hello. What's an ex- Jeez, man! Now she's hurt. Fuck, man, the surprise. What's Commodore's page? In support him as a fellow Scott. So Commodore's page is Commodore 64 Brannigan. Um, I'll share it with you guys afterwards. I'll, I'll share both D Wayne's page and I'll share Commodore's page, and then you guys can have all the the um, info you guys need. I'll make it happen. Yeah, that rock, that Rockwell song. I always feel like somebody's watching me. And then DJ Bobo de remixed it to my favorite version, which was Somebody Dance With Me. And, um... Yeah. And then Ministry of Sound had a version in, in the early 2000s as well. Which was pretty popular for five minutes. Better than asking for Faxanadu. I, 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 I love Faxanadu, Emperor Thanos. It's just really freaking hard. Like, yeah, I run out of patience with Faxanadu. Oh, we're going to pick up these herbs. Steve says, do I get lonely? Sometimes, bro. I think it's a natural human reaction. But I also know that I'm better off being by myself right now. And so, you know, if I think about it rationally... Uh, it certainly helps, you know what I mean? Like, I just... You know, I've got things to do. I need to take care of my future, and I need to work on myself personally and professionally, and when I get that all sorted, um... You know, I'll be a better me for the people out there. But yeah, I don't have a lot of friends. I don't have any romantic interests right now. And, um... Yeah, I'm married to the Sumbish Army. But I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to... I'm not going to have a pity party or anything. <clears throat> I think that's why I take it to heart when things at one coin don't all... You know, when I have bad days or whatever. I take it to heart because one coin's like everything i got right now, really. You know, I do visit family. Like, I've got my sister. And, um, I've got uh, my brother-in-law. And I've got, like, uh, my beautiful niece and nephews and... I don't get to see them all the time, but it's always lovely when I do. And then usually when I go over there, my dad and, and his missus will come over as well. And so yeah, I do get to see family from time to time. Hey, we just got raided from Casual Gaming Dad. Thank you, Tommy. It did. Thank you for coming in, man. Guys, don't forget to ca check out Casual Gaming Dad in your travels. Tom Tom's been going along with this stream ish almost as long as what I have, guys. Great page. First time I, I always say every time the first time I saw Tom was when he did a a speed run of uh, Super Metroid. I'll never ever forget that. Thank you, Tommy. Hope you're doing fantastic. Oh, I'm not looking for anyone, Josh. After after I after I broke up with my last girlfriend, Josh, I was like, you know what? I'm fucking done. I'm done. I I'm not interested. Yeah, I heard Cobra Kai has finally come to Netflix. It just sucks that we have to wait so long on uh, to, see, to see it. But, you know, that's okay. We've got to get this out. Yeah, thank you so much, Tommy. How you been keeping, man? What's been going on with you? How's your page going? Thank you, Lenore. I appreciate you. Yeah, man. I, it's, 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 unfortunately, with a lot of other streamers, we're like ships passing in the night lately. Because you're always streaming at the same time. Or being in Australia, I'm asleep. But I'd love to come in and hang out with you sometime again soon. It's always nice to see you, Tommy. Thank you for everything you do for the community. We're going to... um, We're just doing this HD remaster of Resi 2 today, bud. Which you can probably see some differences here. And how you going there, Mikey? Always nice to see you. Thank you for hanging out. We're just going to get this, uh... This vaccine for Sherry Bobbins. So, do, do I think my last girlfriend was looking for a sugar daddy? Um, I think she was. 
But at the same time, she wasn't all bad. Like, there was some really, like, nice qualities about her too. Like, I'm not just going to completely bag her out. Um, but yeah, she was definitely very damaged. And I'm not saying that I'm not. Like, I'm, I'm a freaking loose cannon, mate. Like, look at me. But yeah, it, it wasn't, um, it wasn't a good match, no. I mean, power to her, man. I mean, at least she knows what she wants. The lid is open. The base vaccine must go inside. All right, so we got to go upstairs first, don't we? All right. Do the remake of Resident Evil 2? I'll do the remake of Resident Evil 2 eventually. I don't like it as much as I like this one. Hey, go on there, Chris. Good to see you. Matt says I can marry his mum and become his stepdad. Well, there you go. <laughs> Killed William. I'll never forgive you for that. Wait. Hey, go on. We got Billy in here too. Good to see you. A sample of the G virus, and this time, no one will take it from me. This is the most significant piece of research my husband has ever left in my hands. Stop. Here you go. Yeah, I don't mind the I don't mind the game, Tom. Last of all, I, we did about two hours of it on the page. I just did a first impressions. And uh, I think it's one of those games that I'd probably want to chill out with more than stream, but it's pretty good. Jeremy thinks your mum thinks I'm cute. Rutherford, I mean, my answer is yes, of course they do if they're not racist, some bitches. Of course they do. I'm going to tell you one thing, Rutherford. Aussie girls love a lot of chocolate. I'm going to tell you that right now, my friend. If you came to Australia, you'd be A-OK. -okay. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty brutal, isn't it? Like, I thought the first game was brutal, but... This, this one's next level brutal. It's, it's something else, Tommy. Oh, we got him. Fuck yeah. Yeah, it's really savage. There we go. We're using the old Windows 95 here, guys. Almost out. <laughs> Register your fingerprint. Don't mind if I do. Rutherford says you'll probably be like Mark Henry. You probably will, sir. <laughs> so Dominic says, have I been to the United States? Yeah, I came to the United States and met everyone, including D. Wayne, uh, back in uh, 1990... No, not 1990. What the hell? 2018. What am I talking about? I'm telling you guys right now, if you came here from the United States, the girls would be all over you. Aussie girls like what's exotic. Aussie girls don't really like Aussie guys. They like the exotic. And that's just normal. P people are attracted to what's different. So you come in here with your American accent, you'll have girls all over you. Jerry, tell me what I need to know. Yeah, you too, Tommy. Once again, big shout to Casual Gaming Dad. Thank you for the raid, man. Have a great sleep. Everyone say a big goodbye to Tommy. The antidote is right here. We got Tam. How you going, Tam? Good to see you, girl. Thank you for coming in. So Jeremy says, do Aussie girls like big bellies? Save my And I think I think Aussie girls. I think a lot of Aussie girl. Um, some Aussie girls like a dad bod. I think a lot of them are a lot more superficial these days. I think I think a a lot of girl Aussie girls over here kind of like a guy in shape to be honest. See, I'm not in shape. That's probably another reason why I don't have any Aussie girls. I feel I feel like I feel like Aussie girls in this generation just like a a gym junkie to be honest. That's just my opinion, though. That doesn't make me right. Zed Como says you love a chick with hairy legs. <laughs> Leon, you made it. Do Aussie women like boys? Uh, yeah, Aussie w women like. I mean, all girls like bad boys when they're young. That's just that's just six. You know, that's just when they're young. Never mind that right now. Leon, That's normal. You have to go back and get Sherry for me. 
I left her in the security office. Please, you must save her. No, they like gym junkies over here. See, this, I mean, it's just about keeping up with appearances these days, you know what I mean? I get it, but, you know, I'm like, eh. I'm not bitter about it or anything, I'm just saying, that's just kind of what it's like. I'm, I'm not bitter. Alright, we're just going to quickly go up the stairs, and we're going to just quickly make this vaccine. I'll try, we're going to be done in about ten minutes, guys. And, and chicks with he and, and chicks like guys with healthy star balances. Oh. <laughs> One day I'll be rolling around naked in the stars, and then then I'll get a wife. <laughs> All right, let's go up this. Don't forget, I'm going to come back on with a late night, guys. What did you want to see? Did you want to see some? Uh... Amer American Truck Simulator, guys, or do you want to see some arcade games? Well, what would you like to see for the late night when I come back on, guys? Up to you. Let me know. Jeremy says your dad taught you how to lift when you were 12 back in the day. Uh, I liked WCW Mayhem back in the day. Not so much now, but I... Oh, crap. Get off me, dickhead! Oh, there we go. Jeez, that was frustrating as fuck, man. These things respawn too, I think. You love Latina women? I'm not gonna lie and say I don't, uh... My god, I'm so fucking sick of this. Alright, let's go. Where, where is this? Come on, dude! Get out of my way! I'm not poisoned? Alright, good. Because I don't know where the blue freaking herbs are at this point in time. Is Lewis says your son says arcade games. Steven says trucks. More people have said arcade games. Alright, we'll do arcade games. We'll do truck simulator another day. No worries, I can do that. I'll, wor I'll work out something. We'll do, we'll do some arcade games. Uh, Alright. Oh, that's not what I needed to do. Is this where I need to use a key card? Oh, right, let's get in. Hey, no, thank you, Joshy. Don't forget to check out Player 40, guys. Our good friend Joshy. Oh, you guys all know who Josh is. We tax take the vaccine card. Alright, so we just need to take this downstairs. We you take the grenade rounds? Yes, I will. all these dirty nurses down here. Well, they're all sorted. Can we... Fucking die, assholes. Oh, we got this. So you want me to come back and tell you some... Oh my gosh. You never know. What's this one? We take them out so we can finally get out of here. Fantastic. You don't know that Player 40 guy? I tell you what, that Player 40 guy is a phenomenal streamer and I do recommend you check him out. He's great. Really, really, he's like an Aussie guy like me and he also talks a lot of shit like me. You, 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 you would listen to a Player 40 stream and you would probably think, Joshy, here's my brother. I'm not even kidding. There, Jeremy says he also learned how to drive a stick shift when he was... Man, there you go. Oh, boy. I hope you guys have liked this stream. I, I, I really appreciate you all coming in and watching. The numbers say you guys have. So, a big thank you for watching. I, uh... We're good with the next Resident Evil game we're going to do is we're going to do Resident Evil 6 with Ada. And we're probably going to start that, um... When are we going to start that? Okay, we're going to go in here. Probably start Ada, if not tomorrow, the following evening. So I was going to do both scenarios today, but I'll leave the other scenario for next time. Maybe in a few weeks.
Yeah, absolutely, guys. That's, that's the best way you can help is just like the, sh the stream if you can. Damn it, I was running, not paying attention. Dude, they just keep respawning all the time. Oh, get off! I'm so fucking pissed off right now. That is just annoying as shit, man. Oh my god. I just want to fucking smash this controller. <laughs> You certainly got a lot of uh, allergies there, Jeremy. Alright. I'm just gonna use these. Alright. All we gotta do is uh, make this vaccine and then take on the final boss. So, five minutes, guys. It's a Josh Fest. Yeah, man, we always love a good Josh Fest here at One Coin Only. A little bit of a Joshage Fest. <laughs> there you go, there's Sherry Bobbin's mum still dead on the ground. And there's probably a rank smell coming out of there now. It's a bit morbid, isn't it? I'm sorry to hear about all your allergies, bud. That's not good. Marco says you're off to bed. See you tomorrow, everyone. Thank you for coming in, Marco. One more time before Marco goes. We're, we're going to give Marco his favourite. This is Marco's favourite uh, thank you screen of all time. We're going to do it twice. Marco, thank you so much for the 100 stars, man. We will see you again tomorrow. Take it easy, my friend. I'm gonna, um... The base vaccine must... Oh, did I... Oh my god, I forgot to do it. Oh my gosh, I must... I've been running around like a headless chook and I've forgotten everything. I can't... I have to go back upstairs. This is annoying, guys. You can tell Rick's a bit sleepy today when he's making stupid mistakes. We, we have to quickly go back upstairs. I can't believe I fucked that up. That just annoys me. I hate backtracking, man. I hate backtracking. Now that's just a little joke for my Canadian friends. You guys know I love Canadians. You have one job to do. I know, Nick. Hey, I completely fudged it. That's alright. We're almost out of here. So Matt says you're having some supper time with your new teeth. Good on you, man. You enjoy your supper and we'll see you uh, for the late night. As I said, arcade games. We'll probably do... Um Oh, I haven't done some Marvel stuff in a while. We might do some Marvel stuff and then a bonus game. Actually, I know what I'm going to do tonight. I, I know what I'm going to do tonight. I think I might do the X-Men. I might do the Punisher. And then I might do some uh, Sunset Riders. How's that sound? You guys like to see those games? Who should we use in X-Men tonight? Imbio now, we got Reese in here, good to see you. Well, maybe we'll do four different arcade games. We'll do X-Men, Punisher, Sunset Riders, and then another one. We'll make it four. Alright, so we're just going to go back in here. I'm going to run out of ammunition at this rate. Sounds fantastic. Yeah, man. You can never go wrong with the Marvel stuff. Spider-Man on PS1. Oh, I'm not feeling that game in the moment. There's a possibility we could do some Spider-Man again on PS1. I actually enjoyed it. Once, once Captain BS helped me get through it. Um, Alright, so we just got to use this vaccine. I think it was in here. You think Gambit doesn't get enough in any X-Men games? We used Gambit when we played the fan-made one last time. 
Dude, I'm totally going the wrong way again. What the fuck, Rick? <sighs> Trying too hard. <laughs> I'm so glad that once this is over, I can just play some mild, mild, mindless beat-em-ups. Man, this is a game you play all the time, Rick, and you're still screwing it up. All right, let's go. So we, we could actually just activate this vaccine, I think. So we got the vaccine there. Now we have to just play with this. Oh, dude, really? Fuck off. Is it this one that we play with here? I, th I thought that was... um. Maybe it's on this side. I don't know. What are we going to do? What's this here? Will you take the base vaccine? No. I'm trying to operate this machine. Where, where do I operate it from? Hmm. How am I supposed to get it working? We're supposed to make this... Maybe, I thought I was supposed to use this thing on the wall. Why is that not working? I might, I might have to back out and come back in because maybe the zombie's glitching it out. Okay, we'll just back out and come back in. How did my DJing thing go for the other day? Oh, I didn't DJ the other day, Adam. Good to see you, Adam. I didn't, um... I didn't... I don't DJ anymore, man. I've been retired for a year. So why is this not working? Aren't I supposed to use that? Where is the switch? What am I missing? How you going, Timmy? Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Oh, maybe I already pressed it. Okay, maybe I already did it. Maybe that's what... No, that's okay. I've got it. No, I think I already did it. You gotta take the vaccine downstairs. I didn't realize I already made it. Yeah, I have to take it downstairs. Sorry, guys. I'm okay. Just had a brain fart. It's been... It's been... It's, uh... No one's home today, guys. No one's home. You know, Rick... No, nobody's home. Alright, we're gonna take this downstairs, beat the final boss, and we'll finally be out of here. To everyone who's hung around, thank you. Yeah, Nightcrawler is my favourite to use on the X-Men arcade game, personally. Nightcrawler is usually my go-to. Yeah, how you going today, Timmy? Everything alright? So yeah, Timmy, we're just doing the HD remaster of this, and uh, it just looks really pretty. It's a nice looking game. Technos Japan became Atlas. I did not know that. That makes a lot of sense, though, because I was wondering why Atlas brought out a Double Dragon game, and now I know. Have our soul have a think about it. We can maybe mix between. We can maybe pick and choose. All right, we're almost done, guys. Five minutes, promise. There you go. Now I have to actually finish it in five minutes. Probably shouldn't have promised that. <laughs> probably probably shouldn't have promised that. Now now Rick's under the pump. So are you already at work uh, by now, Timmy? Oh, here we go. So the vaccine's just in this room down here. I just walked over a dead body. Well, she should move. Mike says his girlfriend loves Instagram. Is your girlfriend one of those girls that always puts pictures of a lunch on Instagram? I don't like it when people do that because I get jealous that I can't eat the same meal. Is Atlas owned by Sega? I didn't know that either. How'd you know that? I know because all girls post their lunch constantly on Instagram. They can't help themselves. I know what's up. I know exactly what's up. <laughs> this is what I had for lunch. Well, thank you. Where's mine? Yeah, no worries. Great. I don't care what you had for lunch if I can't eat it too. But whatever. Enjoy. I hope you choke on it. Hang on, what? <laughs>
Ah, uh, Timmy, that sucks. I guess everyone's a little bit on edge at the moment. Hey, all things considered. Dada Isak, great games. Robocop, Captain America, Midnight Resistance, and Bad Dudes. Oh, yeah, I remember Midnight Resist Resistance. I haven't played that in a long time. That is a cool game, actually. Oh, what did, did you? Oh, no, I said something about you, Captain BS. I can't remember. It was obviously all positive. Like, what did I say about Captain BS? Does anyone remember what I said about Captain BS before he came in? Oh, I, I did say something about... Oh, something to do with video gaming. I'll, I'll try and remember. <laughs> oh, Timmy says you just walked out. You're not in the mood tonight. Yeah, tell them where to go, hey. Stick it to the man, Timmy. Screw those guys. Five minutes until detonation. You're having pork chops, mac and cheese, cream corn for dinner. Mac you know what? One thing I've noticed lately is that mac cheese goes as a side for everything. I could eat any protein, and I'd be happy to have mac and cheese with it. You don't like creamed corn? Oh, that's right. Yes. I, I, I remember what I said now. I said that uh, Captain BS got me used to Spider-Man on PS1 and I'd like to try it eventually. That's what I said. Thank you for reminding me, guys. Yeah, that is what I said. Yeah, I've got the memory of a goldfish, guys. Oh, damn it. Come on, Claire. Get out of there. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Oh, that's, that's form number one. So Jeremy says your mum's mac and cheese is good enough for a whole meal. I love it when people make it and the cheese is just a little bit toasty on the top. Like, oh, so good. Justin just dropped a big 100 stars. Thank you so much, Justin. I'm going to be right with you, man. Thank you so, so much. Oh, where, where, where'd that motherfucker go? Die, prick. Die, die. Fucking Claire. Jeez, he missed me. He's not a very good shot, is he? How many? Oh, we've still got eight rounds left. We'll get him. Fuck it, eat, Claire. What's. No! Let me go! Let me go, asshole! Oh my gosh. We need. Yes, we need to use that. I'm just gonna shoot him from here. So what these acid rounds aren't really cutting the mustard right now. Dude, how many how much do I have to melt him, man? I want to do the Dreamcast version. I think it was on Dreamcast as well, if I'm not mistaken, Captain BS. Obviously that version looks really good. Alright, so we're gonna give this one out to Justin. Justin, this is for you. Thank you, brother. As I said, guys, I'll have about an hour, 45 minute break after this just to eat and get my bearings. And yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back. As I said, we're going to do some late night arcade games. And then I'm coming on with Sega um, for the 9 a.m. So I've got a Sonic hack that I want to try for you guys. And then I want to, for the first, first time ever on the channel, I want to do Eternal Champions. And hopefully not completely screw up. So, um, yeah. Apparently German... Oh. I'll have to ask my roommate about that. Have I played Echo Knight on PS1? I actually owned Echo Knight. Uh, if it's a PS1 game you're talking about, that survival horror game, yeah, I used to own that. Um, I liked it as a kid. I don't know if it would hold up now, but I remember I played that in the 90s and I thought it was pretty good. It's, uh, Echo Knight's kind of like a survival horror game like this, if I'm not mistaken, but no guns or anything. It's more of an exploration game. There's a few of those on uh, PS1. You've got like Clock Tower, Echo Knight. Uh, you've got a game called D. I don't know if you guys remember the na game D. Yeah, I remember Echo Knight. And yeah, my dad brought that back from Thailand for me. 
I, I haven't played it in over 20 years, dude. Wake up, Sherry Bobbins! Sherry Bobbins! It worked! Oh, Sherry, you're gonna be okay. Thanks, Claire. It's over. No. Were you like D? Oh, that was like one of the first ever PlayStation games I ever rented. That was like a, almost a launch title, like it was a really early title. It came on like three discs, and it was this like big 3D exploration game. Truth be told, it was kind of boring, but the, the visuals at the time were pretty awesome. D is really hard to find. The, is it really? Back, 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 like back in Australia when I was a kid, D was everywhere. Like, every video store had D and it was always on the shelf. I am going to do Leon B, but I'm not going to do it today, Nick. I'm feeling a bit... I'm feeling a little bit tired today, Nick, for double resi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my hour break. And then I'm going to come back on and do some arcade games for you guys. But, uh, yeah, we'll, 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 use, we'll do it another time. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I want to give a very, very special shout-out uh, once again to our friend Emperor Thanos. Uh, this was uh, Resident Evil HD Remaster on GameCube, and it looked absolutely schmick. I'm glad we tried that today, man. So thank you for sharing that with me. And thank you for everything you do for the page. And uh, guys, thank you. Uh, speaking of thank yous, guys, thank you for all the star donations, the likes, and shares. Don't forget, if you're new here, guys, uh, don't forget to follow. We stream every single day. And um, yeah, guys, I'm going to go on a quick break. Um, if you're having a sleep now, I hope you have a great sleep. We'll see you in the morning. Uh, as for everyone else, I'll be back in an hour with some arcade games. So, um, yeah, sounds good to me, Nick. No worries. So, yeah, I hope you join us for that then. So, we'll be back on at about uh, 2 a.m. Eastern, maybe just a little bit later, depending on how quick I get back from doing what I need to do. All right? So, awesome, guys. Thank you again. Stay awesome, everybody. And, uh... I'm going to raid you into another stream in the meantime. I'll be back soon. See you guys.